I'm just thinking about whoever's watching us right now. <laughs> just, just <laughs> Sorry, guys. Like five guys in a room, no pants, eating breakfast. <laughs> we have pants. No, we don't. We never do. No, we don't. Yeah, we have, we have no, pants. <laughs> Josh has no pants. Well, I don't know what the fuck he they're doing. He started it. But I have pants. He's like, guys, I'm just not going to wear pants anymore. And we're like, I guess... I guess I'm not going to wear pants I had either. shorts on one day when it was warmer. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what the fuck happens. Uh, no, he doesn't even wear shorts. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Keeping my hands above the table. Josh is so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you die. Yep. I, I, you, know, you know who draws the short straw. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> what was your speed? Well, now it's 10. Yeah. Oh, too bad you just ran into some difficult terrain, motherfucker. Like, yeah. <laughs> Quick sand. Oh, shit. <laughs> Make a duck save. Never mind, you fail. Wait, wait, wait. Who doesn't have dark vision? Oh, that's right. Just him. <laughs> just me. That's why he has a torch. The beacon. <laughs> too bad that ever burning torch just went out. <laughs> Boom. Magic. That's because we went into an anti magic field of a beholder. Oh, God. <laughs> That'd be awesome. As awesome as three catablepus. Three catablepus. Mm -hmm. That's like six eyes there, six for the other three. Almost a beholder. You just got to cast Thunder Wave a couple times to really draw the attention. I can do that. Boom, boom, <laughs> boom. I know. All right, I was let me clear the seed. some stuff off mm -hmm. this All right. table. Are you guys ready? And we can oh, uh, put the battle ready. cam on right away, I guess. Although... I hope there's, there's not, not a battle. actually going to be a fight. It's more How of a you flea cam. How do you know? How do I know? How do you know? I mean, if there is, you are actually going to die. We, it's only three. We already killed three. How hurt are you? Not very. If you fail the saving throw, yeah, I know. your flesh comes off and well, you let's die. let's put our troll friend in front. Where is that guy? <laughs> <laughs> he is in front, going the halfway. Oh, he's in the, uh, he's in the back <laughs> to the can of bleep. <laughs> Yeah, he fought one by himself, and I think he failed to save Josh. He's gonna die. Yeah, he's all fucked up. And Josh he's sounds like, like he's dying. All right. Now, that's just my body telling me I need another cigarette. No, that's a bad, bad. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Although I'm not long for smoking, unfortunately. My kids have gotten on the no smoking train. The school is indoctrinating my oldest daughter, and she's coming home like, "Why this? Why do you smoke, Dad?" I'm like, uh, I'm "Teaching her because it's a bad <laughs> habit." And I'm, she's like, "You shouldn't do it." And even my three year old looks at me and she goes, "Dad, chew your special medicine gum." I'm like, "Fuck, man!" <laughs> so I can't smoke around the kids anymore because they give me all sort of grief, which leaves me to about three cigarettes a day. You can go back to vaping. To them, there's no difference, right? To them, it's like they're smoke, they're smoke. Fucking motherfucker smoking. You don't have to go outside to vape. You just like go to the bathroom or something. Hide. hide. Yeah. Hide in the house somewhere. Well, I don't actually have any free time in my house. Going to the bathroom is not a guarantee of alone time where I live. Lock the door. That's a bad idea. All right. I don't want to. There's Catablepus. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm over it. Go ahead and move that <laughs> salt, Josh. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Did anyone use salt? I did. Wow. I saw the fuck out of that thing. Cigarettes and the heart attack right there. I only like things that are bad for me. We've already covered this, I think. <laughs> <laughs> they were pretty salty already, I'm just going to say. Not salty enough. Okay. I salt Chipotle, okay? What the fuck? Yeah, man. Huh. I've never even... Imagine that as a possibility. <laughs> well, it is. <laughs> and I love it. All right. So, I know that uh, this scene won't stay the same since we're all running. Yeah, we're all running. You guys are all running. I'm just going to haphazardly place you. Shit talkers in the back. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, hey, <laughs> I'm, all right. I'm, I'm all right. I'm ready for it. So Actually, Timogen's ahead of us. Yeah, and is that it? Guy's oh, probably. Ahead. 
Yeah, okay. So we're going to do something kind of like this. That's about right. Whatever. You're not level 2 exhaustion, are you? Half speed? No, I don't have any exhaustion. You didn't frenzy? You should frenzy run. <laughs> yeah, why don't you frenzy? I didn't. It, just leave me alone. Can we <laughs> catableepus this thing? <laughs> Let's go. So as, um, as Abner... Abner is running past you guys. He's going to explain that the cattle bleepists are looking for meat. And they'll fight you for the dead bodies of their brethren. But if you can vacate the premises fast enough, they'll just eat their dead friends. Because everything in the swamp is hungry, more or less. Did he say that all in like one trailing shout? I mean, if you guys keep running, they'll slow down. <laughs> Clear the area! Yeah. And then as you continue to jog on, he'll tell everybody, hey, as long as we stay away... Are they still behind us? They stop and start eating their friends. Oh, we did them a favor. Yeah. Let's go back and tame them. Or surprise them. Timogen, <laughs> mm. that is a very bad idea. <coughs> well, ah, yes, you combat. are so wise. Yeah, I told you it's not going to be a fight. Because <laughs> I thought about it and I was like, you guys will die probably. Somebody will die. Uh, we're lucky we didn't die last game. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. Yeah, now on to Old Man Mossy. <laughs> well, there's still like two more days travel through the swamp until you guys get to the middle. Oh, more catabolism. All right, battle <laughs> cam off. Battle music off. We'll slow down then, I assume. Just do a jog. After a little while, yeah. <sighs> oh, what the fuck? <sighs> Those things are terrible. No, they weren't that bad. I think we could take them. <clears throat> wait, wait. Maybe put out that stupid fucking candle that you're carrying. I can't see otherwise, Temujin. Just trust us. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Fine. I'll that's put like it in a, my bag. It's like a dinner bell okay. for the eyes. It's dim light, right? Um, I think you told it was his dim light. It was dim light by the shore, right? Because, because the, the trees weren't really blocking the moonlight. As you guys move into uh, the dead treescape, you're going to be moving through patches of dim light and darkness. So, <coughs> so <coughs> the three you can see, more or less. Up to 60. Right. You can't see very well. So we're walking in a line? I'm I mean, following Abder. Okay. Is Abner in front? Put your hand on yeah. his hips. <laughs> Abner is in he front. He better be. He's our guide. Where are you at, Mr. Wee? I'll be right there. Okay. <laughs> Would you like you to be behind the Wee or behind the elf? Oh, I am definitely mm -hmm. behind the elf. Okay. So you've got like your hands on much. Where's the he's artifice? Hip. Where's <clears throat> the artificer? He, I put him over here. Right behind okay. Abner. That's fine. Uh, I will pick up a pebble. Actually, you said you were following Abner, so probably I'm going this way. So the artificer Sweet. is behind we. You can okay. grind on the robot then. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, pick up a stone and uh, do the thing to make it a uh, object that sheds bright light in five foot radius and dim light for five feet and just uh, hold it in my hand so that he has small amounts of light that he can follow. It's okay, kind of like but just so you know, the way that light works is that <clears throat> if someone's 100 feet away and they have an unobstructed line of sight to you, they will see you, right? Because you're lit up. Yeah, my thought was is if I put my hand around it, there's going to be a little bit of light that's leaking out. So you out. want to let like a little bit peek out? Yeah, just so that, uh, like maybe just from one direction, and just kind of go like this so that... You want to make it a pocket flashlight? That's kind of what it much, sounds yeah. like. Okay, I mean... It will still make you far more visible to things, denizens of the swamp. You think it's worth it or no? Oh, no, no, put it out. Put okay. it out, robot. Okay. Robot. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Mm. And so we trudge we along. March along yeah. in silence. How many days until Old Man Mosse? Until well, we get there? If we don't slow down or find any trouble, I'm thinking probably two more days. Maybe two and a half. How much territory <coughs> does these cattle bleep us have? Well, I don't rightly know. It's been expanding as of late. I mean, usually it's not a whole lot of territory. I mean, it might take you a day to walk across, but it's been growing ever since they've been introduced to this year's swamp. 
Is it because it was a hungry? Well, it's because the cattle bleepus is probably the only thing the hungry fears besides old man Mossy himself. Wait. We should tame these things and take down the... And I stopped because I just remembered that he's a hungry. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's not really one of them. What we got to do is keep them following us, but back a little bit. And they do all of our fighting for us when we get up back into the hungry territory. Mm, I like this plan, Temujin. That's why you're so smart. I knew. And how do we keep them to follow us? Well, I'm, I'm going to assume they're following us anyway. Perhaps we... Uh, Did we not you, shed all our meat? You got, uh, yeah, I mean, your backpack smells more like bacon than bacon. <laughs> I put out some, I pull out some of the meat. That's though. what I'm talking about. <laughs> 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 we were supposed <coughs> to <coughs> get rid of all the meat. Oh, would you like some? Abner's like, hey, you need to leave. <laughs> yeah, we're all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he says. <laughs> we're, we're all going to die because you're my I, peckish son. Everybody dies. Well, I'd like it to not be today, thank what? you very much. <laughs> yeah, in, in denial. There's almost no words for this. Who still has meat? You guys? No, him. Don't you two? <laughs> no. Oh, I left, all, I left all mine with the cabbage patch, baby. Right. Okay. The, the Yeah, the broccoli fetus. We need to throw the meat away. How are we going to lure the We are not going bleepuses. to lure anything. He just ever just shakes his head. He keeps walking. Ugh. Do you want to live to see the little elf girl and to help her get safe? I take the. I'll take the meat. I'll throw it by your feet. Oh God, damn! I just kick it like a soccer ball. You do not have know how to have any fun. This was fun fighting the Cadbury Bears. Uh. You ran? You can't tell me you did not have fun jumping from the tree and stabbing it in the head. This was a little fun. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We are warriors. We should we should be fighting all the time. Maybe not all. I'm not really a warrior, but I do like hanging around with you. Mm. Me, for one, I like your antics. Well, fair enough. Well, then we're great adventurers and ah, let's adventurers. go. That's a much better word than warriors. Mm-hmm. Well, where's this Should old we man not Mossy? be talking this loud? <laughs> Abner's he cannot like, help it. He talks to us loud all the time. I kind of figured that we're talking quietly. <coughs> I mean, I'm just talking loud because we're on mics right now. Oh, uh, you're okay, always so. loud. <laughs> <laughs> so Ab- Abner's all no. like, well... You fellas want to push through the night, or you want to stop and get arrested? <coughs> where, where are we going to get arrested? we got to go, I mean, find at least some place we're going to do it. Or just keep walking. Is it well, time then, to rest already? Larry, I mean, it's like nighttime, you guys, pushing into the night. Larry and the other Larry have been through here before, and they told me possibility of some ruins up ahead. Now, we can make for them ruins, and the bleepers might stay away. At least we go hole up, or we can push through the night. And why would they stay away from the ruins? Are they worse than Cadabli Pass? Is just one thing here worse than the other that's worse than the other? Well, look, I mean, it's a builder. Ruins is ruins. Well, there might be things in them ruins. Exactly. Every time you say something... There might be like ruins and look. there might be things out in the grass that we're now. No, no, I mean like artifacts of power. Oh, that sounds amazing. Well... <laughs> Most things don't come with no price. Everything out here in a swamp likes to trade. Aye, but aren't you a bit curious? You ever made a trade with one of the artifacts of power? I ain't curious. I was once. Got cured of that. Was it restoration? Was it a little bit harder to come by? Let's get get out to the ruins. I, for one, am a... I'm I'm curious. I'm curious enough for the both of us. All right then. I'm just a humble guide. What do I know? Take us to the ruins, Abder. Humble guide us over to the ruins. 
Fair enough. We could go around the ruins. But you won't find any buildings, places that you can put a, a solid back to your wall. And <coughs> us. Back to my wall? Put your back to a wall. My back to a wall. Ye I mean, you can stay out here if you want. You stay out here and fuck with the blapuses. I will go with the group. That's what I'm talking about. And as the de facto leader of the group, I say we head off to the roots. You are not a good leader. To our leader, Tevijin. Uh, Huzzah! Three <laughs> cheers for Tevijin. Okay. After just like dead pans, it turns around, mumbles some shit to himself, and keeps walking into the swamp. <laughs> Hmm. Clean up party. Um, do, 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 do. do you guys walk on for a little while? I imagine we could just keep on going too. If you, if you don't, don't particularly like the idea of staying here, I don't need a break. I got more of this in me. That's why I'm the leader. Then go ahead and lead away. No, we're going to lead to the ruins. This is what I said. That is... It's, well, to be fair, I don't know what the fuck you guys are saying, so I'll just take your word for it. I said that you are not a good leader. Yeah, see, that's where you get all mumble fucky. I can't hear a single word of that sentence. Temujin has done just fine leading us. Hey, we're all alive in the most dangerous situation we've ever been in. We just keep on escaping. Very courageous of you to hide behind me in the last fight. Hide behind? When you what danced you? around and hid behind <laughs> me. You did, Temujin. You did. You did hide like a little girl. <laughs> that was strategic <laughs> repositioning. I oh. put I put the useless <laughs> motherfucker up and away. You never you don't put the king out in front of the <clears throat> the spearman. What do you say, Abner? What do you think Timogen was doing? Was he doing strategic repositioning, or was he being a little bitch? <laughs> it's, it's like when you get your pants stuck between your ass cheeks. You got to strategically reposition it sometimes. <laughs> Whatever you say, Timogen. You don't have anything over your ass cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Nor do I need anything in my ass cheeks. Wait. <laughs> right. <laughs> Keep ass <asking> coffee. <laughs> Besides, see, this is why I'm leading us, because we all deserve to die. <laughs> <laughs> it is okay. The cowards live the longest. Hmm. Life ain't about deserving. Here we're coming to it. Look Is ahead. That got nothing to do with it. So you guys, uh, everybody can roll a perception check if you'd like to. And you have dark maybe vision. we should not just storm in. Vision. We should maybe do some reconnaissance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, ours collided <laughs> midair, and they all rolled fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. We got a two, a two, and a seven. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no. Seven total. Ryan. Oh, not a true bot. God. Okay, so yeah. you guys can't see shit. Well, I'm, I'm here, like, maybe we should do some reconnaissance, bumped into someone. <laughs> Get a stick in the eye. <laughs> no, I mean, it, what it seems like is it's like you're walking, and all of a sudden your dark vision ends, and the end of your dark vision is coming towards you, and you're kind of confused about what's going on. You're like, whoa, what's happening? I could see 60 feet away, now 50, now 40, now 30, and you actually come up against a wall. Maybe we should stop before we do this. Huh. Hey, there it is. Look. Let's all fan out and separate. And you can't see it. Spot. But as you like stand close to it and kind of rub your hands across it, you realize that it's smooth like glass, and it feels like some sort of volcanic rock, if any of you have any cool. sort of... None of you. Okay, you um, history. Do what? Masonry. Nature. Black nature. Smithing. Good nature. Yeah. I do have nature as well. Okay. Of course you do. Fire <laughs> storm. <laughs> Yay. Twelve. 25. I'm pretty sure it's, <laughs> it's smoother than it should be. <laughs> yeah, and you touch it, and it's like, yeah, it's some sort of volcanic rock. It's like an obsidian dark glass. What is this? Obsidian is very hard to work with, I believe. 
Yeah, it's be. sharper than fuck, though. You don't want to cut yourself. Let's all climb up it. Oh, it's smooth. Oh. Uh, you How first, Metal Man. It? I mean, the only way you guys look up and you just see, like, not something else. So you can't tell, really. It's hard in the darkness to tell how tall it is. Why have we stopped? But it's blocking out everything up to, like, you know, there's a wall. There's blocks, too, but the seams between the blocks are so fine that you can't hardly get your pinky finger in between these seams. And you have a little bitty pinkies. Does it seem like it's a flat plane? I mean, do you want to walk along? An airplane. Not sort very of. far, but a little bit. <coughs> Especially because I'm going to look at, see up. if there's any Half trees this way. Half that have that grown way. up next to it that grow up pretty tall. Okay. Uh, I mean, there are some trees around it, but the trees around the wall are shorter and less old than the trees that are farther away. So it's like big, ancient, gnarly trees and then like newer trees. Perhaps we should ask Adler. What? Do you know if this is some kind of wall or defenses? All of course, I it's know a wall. Is there's some ruins out here, and it looks like a wall to me. Mm. Well, then let's find the front door. All right. Or maybe Hard. we could try to throw a rope up there. We could do that too. Or you could pull out your torch, take a look, see. Mm. Oh, sure. I can already mm. see. I, th- I think when we're here at the wall, we're going to have to check both left and right to see if we can find a doorway or a window or, so, or some place we can climb. So I'd, I'd vote that we split up. Half go this way, half go that. This is not a good plan. Who wants to go with the coward Temujin? <laughs> Maybe you should split up by yourself. I mean, if that's what it takes, if that's what a true leader is. Unafraid of the dark. Tim and we will meet up back here. He just takes a left. Oh, all right. Wall. Tim and Jim, I'm, I'm going to follow, follow Adler. We'll follow Adler. Abner, and you guys, go the <laughs> It's not Abner. It's not Adler. <laughs> Abner. Fiddler. Agader. Agader. <laughs> we'll follow Asfun right over there. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, you. Yeah, I'm going my own way, and I'm taking a left. Tim and Jim, wait. No. The same way that Abner yeah. went? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Perhaps I split up all by myself. Okay, so you're following him, actually. All right. Yeah. <coughs> and then he can either follow me, We're all he can following. go somewhere. We're all following Abder. Okay. Everybody's following Abder. Yeah, get in line, elf boy. <laughs> <laughs> it is just like you to talk big, but you will not split up. I just did. Mm-hmm. You're the one following me. What are we seeing? What are we doing? The more you talk, the more you sound I mean, like a fool. I uh, mean, Abder's got a hand on the wall. Perhaps to your ears. And he's kind of feeling along it as you guys go along. He says, we could use some light to see what situation we're in, but it will also call any nasties out there towards us. What are you afraid, Abder? And I pull out my torch. <laughs> okay, decision made. See, this is <laughs> partly why I wanted to split up. <laughs> Let him do the torch thing. Okay. Cool. Oh, they definitely saw us. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, light. And as you pull the ever-burning torch out and light it, uh, what you realize is the wall that you're walking besides, it's not like totally solid black. It's like a very dark, smoky glass. And in... Oh, reflective. Uh, well, yes. But <laughs> in the depths of the bricks, there's things. Some things in there. You can see shapes deep inside the bricks. Are they moving? No. Like I mean, that you could roll a perception. Sort of translucent. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is it's not totally <laughs> opaque. You can kind of mm. see. <laughs> I should not roll anymore today. Sweet. Ten minus one, nine. Nice. <laughs> uh, amazing. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got uh, <clears throat> a twenty-one. Sweet. Yeah. I guess I'll play along too. What are we doing? I don't even know. Perception. Just, Someone yeah. points it out, and then I. All right. It's too big for me to see over. I don't know. What I put my about. torch right against it, and I'm like, "Okay, so there's a there's I a shape in there, right? Like, but you guys aren't going to get a really good handle on what it is." <sighs> I just kind of like give it one of these. Okay, that juke it. What are you doing? All right, <clears throat> it's a shape something. frozen in the blocks. There's something in there. In also, the blocks, uh, they f- it feels colder than the surrounding air. When you put your hand against it. Mm. Oh. 
I put my torch out. Okay. <laughs> cool. Okay. <laughs> I'll just, we just walk. Yep, just walking around with my hand against the... Uh, okay. As you guys walk more and more around the circumference of this uh, massive wall, and it's like a wall to keep it square, so you come to a corner and turn the corner. As you're turning the corner, any of you that have your hands against the wall notice that the corner of the brick uh, where it comes to a 90 degree angle is sharp, like a blade. Mm -hmm. Like it's like a flat plane and a flat plane, they intersect at an exact corner. Mm. Well, at least we could solve that. Uh, it's safe to natural. Yeah. No, that's for sure now. <coughs> The wall is also around 30 feet tall. Do you think this is magical? What? Magical? Magic. I put my hand oh, on Oh, you're zik. I don't hear. But I bet if we can get ourselves inside there, that's as good a spot as any. Keep out the rest of blokes like us. Or maybe it's to keep something in. What's to keep something in? The walls. The walls. I mean, perhaps. No, all we got to do is evict the old guy. Take over. I'll, I'll be happy to do that for That's you, That's what I know. I mean, you're, you're a good lad like that. Perhaps this is acting more like ice than a wall. It's keeping something contained. Oh, something cold. It yeah. is cold to the touch. Inside, we'll deep see. into the wall? Yes. Maybe it is not a wall? Maybe there is oh, no entrance. What if, what if the whole thing is just a block? There ain't no doors. Or it's a building and not walls. Well, know. then this is boring. Yes. If that's the case. So why don't you climb it? I can't climb it. Can you climb this? We could throw a rope. <laughs> It'll cut the rope if it gets up to, if it's sharp as this. We could throw a rope on what? Do you have a grappling hook? I do not believe a grappling hook would hold on to anything up there. Let's keep walking around. About how far did we walk? Um, to get to that to corner. To get to the corner, yeah. About 40 feet, give or take. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of space. <laughs> it's been like 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, you guys are just like, it's been like what it's been. Perhaps we can go around this structure and maybe we'll find ruins. Maybe these are not the ruins you spoke of. Is this about where the ruins were supposed to be? Yeah, give or take. So maybe there is a gate still. Let's find it. Walk, 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 walk. Okay. Oh, look, an entrance right here. How <laughs> amazing is this? <laughs> I, um, worst case scenario, if we don't see a door soon, we could perhaps dig underneath. We're just on soft dirt. Mm. Eventually, as you guys are walking, you come to what looks like, uh, you know, an open gate. Hmm. There's, like, nothing there as a door. Ah, just it's gonna, just a way in. The wall ends and then the wall begins again, like ten feet later. No, there's. I mean, there's. You can see kind of that there's an arch. Mostly, you can tell because you look up and there's not. So you can see like the negative space of it in the dark. Mm. Like there's no stars in the shape of an arch. Is there any like framing on the sides of this arch where there might have once been a great gate? Uh, a great. I mean. Mm -hmm. I don't know that you know masonry that well, but there are there is like a frame around the arch that's holding everything together, right? But again, it's like seamlessly placed. Okay, so not like splinters of wood or anything. If they were there, gone a long time ago. There's a place where hinges could have been inset, right? But like anything that was wood has since been reclaimed by the swamp. Maybe this is very old and everything else decayed. You also notice that the wall kind of leans one way a little bit. Leans Cut. as in it's falling and sinking into the swamp, or? Yeah, maybe that. You know, as you approach the gate, you realize that the gate descends another foot and a half into an open space, and there's water in that space above the cobblestones, about three inches of water. 
This is not... Do we still have the map? Do you think this uh, is maybe where the library could be? No, this is the library. I mean, yeah. We're still some time now. I mean, you could find... You'd be welcome to dig if you wanted to look for a library below. This ain't it. Doesn't mean it doesn't have something that we could find uh, useful. Artifacts of power. Careful with those. I'm I'm very careful with them. <laughs> I, don't know, I just like to see what happens. That ain't what I mean when I say careful. I know. That's why I said it. I believe he is talking more about guards. Something that might protect the artifacts of power. Well, who knows? Sometimes these things guard themselves. Mm. Well, I don't smell anything dangerous here. I think we're good to go. Let's go on inside. Lead the way, Mr. Abner. All right. He says a word and lights a sword on fire. Steps down into the water. Oh, it's, do we have to descend into water? Yeah. Yeah, there's like, where you guys are. Is it like, like a lake? Well, uh, it's below the ground. You have to walk down a couple of feet. And the last, like, three or four inches is water. And then you hit the cobblestones of the road that are underneath. So whatever this thing is, this part of it has sunk in slightly below the water line. And water has kind of filled in. How many inches of water? Three or four. Three or four. Yeah. You may as well bring out a torch. Oh. I mean, he's got his sword on fire. <clears throat> I'll bring him up. I'm going to go in last night. and watch our six. <laughs> okay. If you're the last one in, give me a perception roll. I said it. Oh, God. <clears throat> oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, 20. 20. Okay. You faintly hear the morning call of the cattle bleepus in the swamp behind you. Take note. Right. Mm. Did nice. he drop his meat? You did, right? Yeah, he threw it down at your feet. Oh, that's right. Then you kicked like a soccer ball. That's right. Now the only meat is us. It's true. Hmm. <sighs> That looks like a nice, cozy place. Okay, so you guys see in front of you, there's like a large courtyard uh, walled off on the sides. Um, it's what you would think of as an area where you could have a gatehouse or murder holes if the wall were hollow, but it looks like solid block all the way through. So you walk 20 feet in, and it looks just like solid blocks as if you're penetrating this massive outer wall, and you come into like a large courtyard area. Uh, there's like small stone buildings, Around so you. Is all of the stonework still this obsidian material, or is that just the walls? No, it is. It's all this, like, dark, smoky kind of glass bricks that are, like, oversized and <laughs> almost wrought to, like, perfection. Like, all the angles are perfectly cut. Hey, Leo, something about entering this giant <coughs> gaping hole reminds me of your map. Is this a city of glass? Coffee me. Didn't even hear it. <laughs> Take that, battle cam. Ooh. Take that, microphone. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, we can just find some place to rest. The and scale of the buildings is a little bit off. They're all made for someone more your size than anybody else. You and Abder feel the most at home. Uh, I mean, it's just a little bit larger than what human beings would be comfortable with. Mm-hmm. How's it feel? How tall is the tallest building in here that we've seen? I mean, you could only see 60 feet, give or take, maybe, right? Yeah. But so. we're going to pass by a building while we're walking through, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's just leading you into the city. And what you see is like, you know, two story buildings, three story buildings. There's lots of room in between them, too. Most of the roads and boulevards are at least one and a half times what you would consider normal. Is it still three inches of water or all overgrown by swamp? A lot of it's more than three inches of water. There's clusters and clumps of dirt, kind of, you know what I mean, Mm -hmm. Uh, that have washed up against the sides of buildings. So the sides of buildings have, like, weird sort of islands that have kind of gathered around them. And the depth of water 
that is going to be anywhere in this part of the city from around four inches to around a foot. The swamp has reclaimed the city. Uh, we're getting a bit, a bit deep. Perhaps we just pick one of these. Uh, it's like waist high, <laughs> yeah. Deep, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, are these inner buildings also made of the obsidian? Yes. What do we say? We just pick that one. Go up second floor and uh, rest up for the night. That sounds like a great plan, leader. That's what I'm saying. We gotta just get out. Probably get someplace a little bit dry. Relax. Play a fun game of Twister. One thing of note, there is no life. So there's clumps of dirt and sort of mounds of stuff. There's nothing growing in it. Uh, the water is chilly. It's cold. It feels like it's definitely colder than the temperature of the air. Mm. Isn't it hot and muggy in this swamp normally? It is. But the water is cold. Was the water cold before when we were trudging through the swamp? No. Okay. This is made for us. It's special. Come on, let's go into that building. Over there. I'll follow time again. See if we can go up to the second story. Get out of the way. Hey, you guys walk in. No, there's no door. Right. Anything that would be organic, like wooden doors or stairs or tables or chairs, it's all reduced to mush. <laughs> the only thing left are the stone bricks. Was there so. any furniture made out of the stonework? Here's hoping that the stairs are made of stone. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, there's. you can tell there's like a bunch of organic, like, reclaimed sort of earth under where their stories would be. There's a little hump, and there's a hole in the ceiling. Do you have any word who used to live here? How half is the uh, hole? 10, uh, 12, 13 feet, since everything's a little bit bigger. <coughs> <coughs> Perhaps we can boost somebody up there. Really? I'm Everyone pretty, looks at I'm, pre <laughs> I'm pretty sure that you don't have to worry about anything like, uh, you know, anything being alive in here. That's for certain. Should not be any problem? I can go up if you want. Uh, no, no, don't think well, just you be can fine. go. Uh, so we'll get over to the thing and. I, I stare. They're splashing around. Splash, 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 sticking, splash, sticking at my tongue. Splash, splash, splash. And then I turn into a giant wolf spider. Okay. And I crawl up. You do. Do spiders have tongues? <laughs> nope, that's where I lose it. Abner's like, I'll be damned. Does, yeah. can, could he always do that? Yes, you don't want to fuck with Tim and Jay. He always could turn into a spider. And then I hit, I hit him with telepathic... Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see most everything now. Weirdness on top of weirdness. That is Temujin. All right, what do I see up here? I mean, uh, you know, it's in mostly open space. Um, there's uh, another small hole in the ceiling towards the middle of the what you would think of as like a common room or just a large open space. There's not a lot of dividers in the architecture between like rooms. Ah, uh, modern open layout. Okay. Yeah, there's a couple of pillars that are supporting the uh, the like section of the building above where you're at. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. Okay, so are there windows on this floor? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are windows. Mm -hmm. There's one on each side. Um, and I'm going to go up and over and check out the the hole on this one. Okay. Uh, so what's upstairs is, again, a really large room. It looks kind of dormered because the roof is above it, right? Okay. The roof's at an odd angle. It's not as steep an angle as you would think a roof ought to be. It's a lot more shallow. It's, like, just shy of flat. Sure. Hmm. Okay. And so I'll come back down to the second level okay. and change back. There's a lot of in the in the roof and that like that top level. There's a lot of like stone arch work that's holding it all up. So there's a few arches. To Matt, maybe you can give me a boost up to the second floor. I'll throw down a rope. So you, I put up the ten foot ladder. You hear and <laughs> see a tiny. Now I have to reimagine. Yellow the ladder again. Yeah. 
As I pee down the hole. Blah, 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 into the puddle. Do spiders even pee? No, I'm a person. Oh, oh you're, you're a person. person. And, then you... and do spiders pee? Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> do you know? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen it? Uh, Google? Google. I'm good. <laughs> That's someone else's job. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are we talking about spiders pooping right now? Pee. Do spiders pee? No. Well, I'm thinking about pooping right now. Do they poop? No. Do they throw up? Do knows? they have any... Thing other than their weird hydraulic fluid in their legs. Who knows? Maybe that's how they pee. Can I Google this? Just really hydraulics. <laughs> <laughs> They're really bothering me. It's bothering me too in right. a different way. So yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm <laughs> peeing down the hole. Spider, spider, spider. The, we're climbing up yep. or oh. into the into the water. So it makes that really powerful alpha male peeing into the center of the toilet sound. <laughs> too bad From the alpha male has a up. small pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> I drifted over to your shins. (laughs) (laughs) Bad steps away. I'm already on the ladder. Yeah, okay. So you're you're getting on. Whatever. (laughs) Just like the swamp. Marked as mine. (laughs) Okay. Yeah, spiders have anuses. Everything has an anus is what I learned. That's not true. Everything doesn't have an anus. Well, yeah. Their mouth and their anus are the same thing. Well, that that still has an anus. It's kind of an anus. It's more like a manus. (laughs) <laughs> a mouthness? I don't know. It's a mouth and an anus. My favorite is sea cucumbers that have fishes that live in their anus, and so the sea cucumber developed teeth in its anus to try to keep the fish out, but it didn't work. I have a story about a sea cucumber. I'll share it sometime. That's disgusting. <laughs> no, no. I don't know what <laughs> No, I'm good. No. Good. Right. good with that. Okay, so you guys go Come upstairs. on up, boys. It's all clear. There's another floor over here. Also... Is another, it the roof? Another area. Is it what? Is it not that the roof? The roof? No, that you, you go up. You got another story up there. So we'll all go up. We can pull the ladder up behind us. Okay. Maybe we go up another story, just in case the cattle bleep us come. So oh. we're still following a little bit. Do not know if they would be able to get up the 12 foot. Yeah, that- the problem with up there is I didn't see any other way out except this one way in. You get to, uh, Is there you know, any way out on this floor? Windows. You got windows. two windows and a hole up and a hole down. And up there... Just as a one. Is Well, Enclosed. yeah, sorry. A bunch of archways and stuff. All right, well... It's been an absolute pleasure hanging out with all you guys today, but uh, I think this is where we call it for the night. Mm. Mm. Yes. Evan puts out his sword. You're blind. Yep. I'll go to bed. Okay. <laughs> yep. I unroll my soggy sleeping bag. and Abner's like, you think we ought to post watches? Um, so uh, you... Yeah. You want to go first? Sure. So a robot never sleeps. <laughs> all right. So you keep watch all night? I could if you would like. Sounds fine. Although right. he never sleeps as well. He takes his hat and he kind of tips it over his face and leans into the corner. He tries to lay down for a couple hours <laughs> and nothing happens. Yeah. So I, I just sing songs to myself just loud enough to be annoying. Roll, roll, roll your boat gently okay. down the street. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. All right, so everybody got those of you that are not sleeping. What? Perception check. Is this in the first part of the night or the last? Because I will take my four hours. At the, end. at the end? That's in the first part of the night. Okay. I do my best to ignore Tim. I got a good two dozen. 16. 13. 16, 13. 24. Really? Yeah. You can do that? A good two dozen. Yeah. All right. I got a plus five and rolled 19. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How do you have a plus five to this thing? Oh, there. Hmm. What are you talking about? That's Drew. what I did. <laughs> that's what <laughs> that's that's like <laughs> It was. <laughs> <laughs> we had, how many, or how many rests have I had since the Eric's? Two. I don't know. Oh. Countdown. You were on five. Okay. Why'd you move your five die? <clears throat> tonight, after tonight, six. we'll be on to four. Yeah. 
Remember, we're going to try to postpone Old Man Mossy for five more days. Are you really? <laughs> <laughs> we're thinking about it. Oh, that's that's why we set up shop here. Okay. We're so uh, while the night goes on, you know, all three guys hear bleep his calls in the distance. Um, one of the things that you notice is that while you're sitting, are, are you laying on the floor? Are you sitting against the wall? Uh, you... Yeah, all those things. Like I lay on the floor, but it's really hard. This, I stand up, I walk around, I pace, sit. At one point, you're like where the moonlight is coming in through a window, hitting the wall, you're over by the wall, and the thing in the brick moves. Whatever it is. Look me sideways, there's things in these bricks too. Didn't even think of that. Yeah, there's shadows and shapes and By the way, Josh, I forgot. I did sell my revenant double blade of Scimitar. So you have no weapon? I have a bow. Man, you screwed yourself over. Hmm. Yeah, I have a sword. I think I do. That's rough, dude. Yeah. I can give you an axe. I have a hand axe already. <laughs> Oh, uh, sad. That's sad. You, you want to get that one? back? <laughs> I'll have to go buy another. <laughs> Where did you sell it? At um, that desert city, or the mountains? Where were they? I forget the city name. Gilad. Gilad. That's a bummer, man. Because it's like a weapon from your homeland. That's what I was thinking it was. I was like, oh yeah, it's cool. Well, I'll have to get another. Okay. Yeah, they're just lying all around. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know that you're going to get one. <laughs> it's not going to happen this desert. adventure. Yeah, but right. I was just letting you know because I was like, oh, that's why I have 50 extra gold. Hmm. So I'm going to be telepathically prodding the thing that's moving. It's like, hey, you, move. Up, 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 up. We're only losing there, there, there. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, is it magic? Uh, sure. Yeah. 23. Nice. Oh, God. <laughs> 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14. So you're going to take 7. And what basically just feels like psychic feedback, like a whine or a horrible screech. Like, think about if someone were to take a guitar pick and rake it up a guitar super hard. You know, like yeah. A guitar. yeah. And it's like fucking brutal. <laughs> ah, fuck! Like, yeah. <laughs> I say way too loud. I'm trying to wake everyone up. <laughs> I just peek an eye open and go back to meditating. Yeah, blood's coming out of his ears, his nose, and his eyes. Stupid. <laughs> Besides that, nothing else? Um, I just close my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fuck him. Go back to sleep. Well, I just meditate. But when, it, when that happens, whatever it is in the brick, like, moves about, it moves around a lot. Like, it's like, the shape is, like, changing, and it seems to get more distant from the surface of the brick that you're by. You cock hole, and I cast Mind Sliver at it. I mean, I attempt to psychically affect and damage. Okay. <sighs> All right. I f- fucking wiggle wall. Um. So I. Looking at the floor below me. Back up to it. There's stuff moving in there, too? I mean, it's not moving, but there's a shape in the bricks. And there's small bricks. There's whoa, small shapes. Whoa, whoa. Right? Large bricks are larger shapes. Mm-hmm. The bricks in the walls were really large. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna be using the deep speech... With my lips right up to it. Maybe you should be quiet. People are trying to sleep. Hey, you can go find your own fucking house. This is the one I picked it. I go sit right next to him and I pull out my flute. Ah, it's a spirit. Yeah, let's fuck over everybody. After, after Cox and I, he's like, Fuck are you two on about? You see all the things in the floor and the walls? They're wiggling. That one over there is a right piece of work. 
All right. He walks over to the hole in the floor. Gets his backpack, puts it on. I'm going to another building. I'll see you boys in the morning. He drops through the hole. You hear him splash. I start playing my flute. <laughs> you hear him splashing outside. Splash, 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 splash. splash. I, I watch him through the moonlight out the window. I mean, you can see him for 60 feet or so, right? Oh, look what you did, you cock. You scared away our guy. I right in his ear. <laughs> hmm? My flute. Okay, so these guys are making all kind of rackets. You can't sleep. What do I hear? What wakes me up? <sighs> oh. I look up. I get out my torch. Maybe you take away that flute from him. Oh. What are you doing? We are talking and playing the flute. He's, <sighs> he's got a ready asshole ready for that flute. Temujin, tell him to stop playing this flute. I'm telling you to tell him to stop playing this flute. Uh, aye, aye, Captain. And I walk over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You will stop playing this flute right now. I blow it again. Oh, my God. See? Are you serious? He's just trying to end us all. <laughs> oh. I get out my hammer. Last uh, time. This is it, then. Don't want to do this, Ryan. Just Here we go. <laughs> Put that flute away before I take it and shove it up your ass. You don't want to piss off the barbarian. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Let the Wookiee win, man. <laughs> but I'm going to go to another building. Okay, so you leave too? Mm -hmm. How do you choose your building? I don't. You just go to the next one over? Yeah. All right. While you're out there in the dark, roll me a perception. Oh, I'll God. find Abner. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Trip over him. Fifteen. Fifteen? Okay. You're walking along, splashing the water, heading for the next building, and, like, you feel... It feels like a current of cold water rushes past your angles. All right. I mean, like, it's nothing very cold. spookier than it has been already. Okay. Thank you for having me back there, Tremont. Appreciate it. Ugh. I don't know what else to do about that fucker. Oh, just, man, it's just stop Temujin. And I go back. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> Everyone's pissing off the Wookiee. <laughs> what Temujin. time is it in the morning? No, I'm like, I'm not a, I'm not it's going to be person. like 3 a.m. Yeah, it's probably like 2 or 3. Yeah, it's like that's a little night. too early for the barbarian. Yeah, <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. Go into bed. All right. Hmm. You got any string? We could play a game called Cast Cradle. I do not have any string. Damn. All right. Well then, never mind. We got nothing in common. All right. Do you see the the, the wiggles? Wiggles in the wall. Did I see wiggles? Mm. Do, do you see? Sixteen. Yeah, you can see something in the wall. You don't see mm. it moving, but there's something in the brick. Mm. Yes, there is something in this brick, just like all the others. Yeah. And they, they move. Mm. And they really don't like it when you talk to them. Just in case you're wondering. How does it know you're talking to them? The same way anything knows you're talking to it. That's the you weirdest name. No, just say hey. Hey. Add it. Add it. Axe <laughs> 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 is the unsung hero of this whole podcast. <laughs> hey, hey, add it, add it. <laughs> well, now that we have that out of the way, <laughs> I will go back to it. Oh, man. At least when I'm talking to the wiggles in the wallet, the pain goes away once it's done. <laughs> you, it just lives on inside me. The anger grows. <laughs> <clears throat> I wonder what that sh little shit's up to. That's right. Her. Yes. <laughs> He's sleeping. Don't be jealous. Um. So 
it's like three in the morning. <laughs> this is the longest <laughs> night ever. All I, your nights are I like wish that. I could fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so, so I'm looking out the window and I start night. splashing with an Eldritch Blast. I splash the water outside. Really? <laughs> okay. Probably about three times and then I think better of it. Okay. <laughs> Everybody, here we are. Cool. Oh, no, it's got a pretty long range, so it's closer over to the other buildings. I mean, whatever. Whoops. You can hit another building if you want to. <laughs> there you go. All right. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I awake? There's a reason I left. <laughs> so basically, he's this trying guy to wants sleep to and die. He hears he's on a suicide mission. <laughs> yeah. Roll me a constitution save. Oh, damn it, Jen. Easy. Easy. Can I rage into that? <laughs> no, that doesn't help. <laughs> it doesn't help. It's your strength. Nice. I can't. What was that? A 15? That's a 15. Uh, Constitution's 20. Okay. 20. So you can sleep. You okay. can sleep through the rockets. So you're just like fucking, ah, uh, you like put something over <laughs> your head. Right. <laughs> and you're sleeping. Okay. You guys are awake all night. You sleep fine. Uh, as the sun comes up, though, what you see is you see the sun kind of reflecting are refracting through these smoky bricks and you can see the light kind of coming in through the wall and as the light is shining into the building all of these strange shapes in the bricks start to move away from the light and they move from brick to brick mm. so they're somehow making the gap between bricks oh that's bizarre and they just flow down they can make it out and but everybody there's only... hears a whisper four days <laughs> <laughs> Your horn grows a little warmer. Yeah, right? <laughs> a little stiffer. <laughs> yeah, okay. <clears throat> so what I wake up and what am I seeing? You don't see anything. By the time that you wake up it's done. Oh, okay. These guys who stayed awake watch all of the weird like kind of sort of cloudy, milky shapes in the bricks move away from the sunlight and flow from brick to brick down through the building into the ground. Oh, crazy. That's bizarre, Ax. Do you see it? Yes. They, they prefer to be one by themselves, one per brick for the night. They even go big things to the big bricks and the small ones to the small bricks. But then, as the sun comes up, they can apparently just cross them with scabs. Hmm. That don't make no sense. Well, you put your big old brain to work. What do you, what do you think that's all about? Uh, it appears this material is more like a. Uh, it's like a fish tank. Except there's more room inside of it than is on the inside, so it's more like a portal, I would say. What's like a portal? The bricks. Think of it like a portal that you can't walk through. You mean a fucking wall? That's what a portal you can't walk through is. Except for there's something on the other side. Yeah, there's always something on the other side. That's the fucking way the world works. But the thing on the other side is not what is actually on the other side. I am probably the smartest man I ever met. However, I cannot <laughs> fucking follow what you're talking about. <laughs> What we perceive to be on the other side of the brick is different than what is actually on the other side of the brick. There are two sides of the brick. Which one of them is not the one that I'm talking about that we're standing on. If that makes sense. Tomat, you're hearing this shit. What? Hey, how many sides of a brick do you think we have here? Shit. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, You're not asking number, uh, questions with numbers in them in the morning? It's two. I'm going to give you something to do. <laughs> Who wants breakfast? And I pull a little piece of bacon. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> and I eat it. <coughs> and that's all I have left. Just a little tidbit. Uh, bacon. Mm. I'm going to do the plus one weapon, plus one armor, and give you uh, goggles of... Dark vision! Goggles of night. Dark vision. Bingo! And just in case. Oh, it would be awesome as if you guys had to swim. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like, exactly what's going to happen. It's like, <laughs> you never get it right. What yep. you need to do is the utility things. Fuck his AC. It doesn't matter. I mean, he said he wanted the AC. So. Yeah, but he All doesn't the know. He All doesn't the know any better. He's a goddamn barbarian. Yeah, but 16 <laughs> pretty good. You do what you want. So you need the AC. I mean, I could do that. I I would have to have so much that. It well, you should matter. get some. Armor, AC dude. works better if you already have some. Don't you have any decks? I got one. Then you should get some armor. And my you can wear hide, right? Well, see, now I can. Then you should get some. I just uh, before I couldn't. It was just you could get higher what they AC called? than what you got. So I can just uh, goggles of night. Okay. Cool. Alright, so you guys wake up. A lot of light actually finds its way through the bricks. So most once the plane of light clears the wall, and it's coming through the wall, there's a really strange effect where you can sort of see the light being refracted. But as the sun kind of clears the horizon and comes up a little bit over the wall, the light shines into the bricks pretty well. Hmm. I put down my, nice place. I put down my goggles. Oh, thanks, Axe. Temujin. What How do I look? And I have these stupid owl-looking goggles <laughs> on with the <laughs> with the half plate that has fucking shit flames on my tits. <laughs> Those are great flames. They look like red waves. <laughs> <laughs> we, we just need a little touch-up on them. This is bad. You can't touch them without consent. Do I look badass now? Bad, yes. What was your name again? Hot tits. <laughs> Yep. Abdur comes splashing towards the building. Splash, splash, splash. Does this guy ever come splash, back? Splash, splash, splash. I'm just sitting on the windowsill of the next building over, waiting for you guys to come out. Okay. Eat my... Abdur! Rations. Good morning. Good morning to you. How do I look? Can you climb up this far? Or are you just below? What are, where are we? You guys are on the second floor, I assume, still? Yeah. Yeah. No, he's just out in the street, like, oh. splashing towards the building. He's like, well, I reckon we got a choice. Maybe we ought to talk about it. He's in the the street between your two buildings. All right, yes. We could leave and continue on towards Old Man Mossy and your destiny, such as it were. Or we could explore that yonder. What do you see? Towards the middle. You can see it from here towards the middle of the town. I mean, most of the buildings are around the size of your building. And if you look out and down the lane... There's a clear shot all the way towards the middle of town, and there's this massive domed edifice sort of in the middle of town. Wow. But the road doesn't twist, turn, or wind. It just goes straight It's made there. just, this whole city's made just for that. Dead center. Well, Tamat, here's... What, what's going on here? Here's, here's the question. You don't want to see old man Masi until your your thing is ready, correct? Oh yes, I feel so, it. So we don't only want to get going four too soon. more days. <laughs> we only got about two days walking to get there, so we don't want to show up two days early, do we? Mm, no, that, we don't. That'd be probably the worst case scenario. Well, no, my brother's really like in the top five worst case scenarios. My yeah. brothers <laughs> in Fahala. Like... <laughs> my brothers in Fahala. <coughs> Want to see old man Mossy. They told me in my dream last night. Well, <laughs> you know, old man Mossy is quite the euphemism. <laughs> yeah, after he shakes his hat and puts it over his face, <laughs> pushes it back up. What do you say, Axe? You're at all curious about what's up in that room. I am not, but I can follow you if you are curious. <laughs> That's. You. Well. That makes it uh, a nice even three to one. Three to one. I'm across the street. Yeah, that's why you're the one. How do you feel about it? You are having such wonderful conversations with your companions. Yes, and now we're including you. Are you going to come with us? Go ahead and lead the way. That's what I'm talking about. So we go to the dome. Now you're sure. Yes. What? We go to the edifice. That did, did you miss the conversation Get where it. all of us agreed? Get it. All right. I'll wait outside for you while you do your pilfering and your plunder. Did you no, see the things in the wall last night? Or perhaps this morning? Were you waking time for it? Okay. Mm-hmm. 
That's why I'm thinking maybe you ought to leave, but, you know, I am, after all, only your humble guide. Well, humble guide, we do appreciate your input. That said, I think, oh no, what if, what if we wait until the night to go over there? Then we can be sure that the things are all in the outer walls and whatnot. Because when the sun came up, they all got scared away. What if they went to wherever that dome is and go down below or something? I'm not following you, Tenage. No, well, you will be in a minute. Let's start hopping over. I think we got this. Abder, you'd be wise to come with us. You would be safer with us than without. Somehow I highly suspect that your logic is only self-serving and not to my benefit. Uh, there, you mentioned there are catablepas still walking around. I imagine you would not want to find one of those alone. As far as I know, they don't come in the city. Oh. You know as much as we do. This is your first time here, right? Yeah, but Larry and Larry have been here before. Hmm. And they did just fine, didn't they? They didn't go in the city. And the friends of theirs that did, didn't come back out. There used to be more than two Larry's, friend. Well, that seems very fucking inconvenient. But Abder, you're the one that suggested to go check it out. Well, I thought you might want to, so I'd get a jump on pointing it out to you before you looked at it yourself. Yeah. So don't call us dumbasses. For let's going let's in. get it. Let's. Get, I'm so excited. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so he just starts walking towards the dome with the sword across his shoulders. All right, Demato, you, you want to jump down and catch me? Oh, you got to jump down first. <laughs> oh wait, no, jump. <laughs> <laughs> No! <laughs> nine points of damage. What? You rolled like, your ankle. Fuck yourself up when you hit. <laughs> I'm going back down the way I came up. <laughs> yeah, right. Go to How the did you get up? I figured I took a big tree branch and propped it up against the no next tree. level. I no took nine damage no for... How, how far I did I figured fall? it out. You probably Twenty slept feet. on the ground floor where it was a little soggy, but you, slept. Oh. you did your thing. It's basically oh. the second floor. So I wasn't no, alone. So you jumped off the roof. Hmm? <laughs> oh, damn. I am where I am. Yeah, you're downstairs. Probably. Who cares? I'm there. <laughs> right. We'll work it out. Okay. Fair enough. I did not take nine maybe points. You found, maybe you found a building that had stone steps. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A few left. Right. No, if there's stone, they'll still be there. The stone lasts forever. No, the obsidian. Yeah. Do you catch Temujin? No. I don't know if he's going <laughs> to... <laughs> that oh, God. would be the He best. wouldn't survive. Sure, he, <laughs> he has thirty some hit, forty some hit points. Well, I only have fifty now. God damn it! I didn't think I was gonna. You still have more than anyone else, well, except me. Div a lot. How long many do you have? Long rest. Fifty-two. What's up, bad? <sighs> So I'm going to actually ask Abdel, do you perhaps have an extra weapon, a sword or something? Well, I have a crossbow, and I have some long knives. Could I perhaps borrow the knife? Sure. Here. He pulls that knife. It's like just short of a short sword. It's like a gold bowie knife. I will give it the back after old man will say. Well, we'll see what happens. If I am still around, or you. Exactly. <laughs> what kind of knife? <laughs> Is it just a regular knife, D4? No, it's a short sword. Short sword. Yeah. It acts like a short sword. That's so sad. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Things went from awesome to not so awesome for you. Yeah, you had so many weapons that some of your feats became useless to... So then I got rid of my weapon that was based on all my feats. Why did you ever sell it? Because I had the scimitar of speed. It was amazing. Shouldn't have sold it. Well, now I know this. Yeah, you got a backup weapon. Right. I have a long knife in your hand. It's a short sword. Yeah, it is. It's a short sword. It's the same. It's a long knife. Yeah. <coughs> Does this light on fire? Nope. 
Is that something that you do, or is that what the sword does? No, that's just my sword. He has a backup weapon. <laughs> yeah, the sword's a haul from the last time I came out into the swamp looking to get rich quick. You hear that, Temujin? We can get rich quick. No, you can't. Whoa. It didn't work for me or mine. You took two of our items pretty easily. You got rich very quick. Uh, those ain't for me. Those will go to feed all the rest of the town. Put food on people's bellies. <laughs> <laughs> you don't put food well, in I guess I, I don't understand the troll anatomy. <laughs> put a food on him. <laughs> <laughs> right, he's like, that's what that he face looks like from over here instead. I just lost. <laughs> you okay, man? Yeah. Oh. You stack them right on the bellies. <laughs> like flapjacks. Well, here's the thing. Let's see if we can go put some more food on their bellies with some that we find in there. Yes, yes, we gotta feed your people so they don't eat the little girl. Well, not as much tact as I would have had, but yeah. That's <laughs> he just turns away and walks <laughs> towards the, the dome. As you guys are moving towards the dome, center of the city, uh, the water starts to get deeper. Hmm. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> the cloak of the man <laughs> <laughs> You can see in the dark, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> crazy. Can you the make of the three day. magic yeah, idols? Just a second. Yeah. He asked for plus I one climb up his back. So do you and make them out of nothing, or do you enchant you things for the know. day? I yeah. enchant things Well, I was okay. trying to say it But I have a tinkerer's kit, so I imagine I'm just like... Always tinkering. It. Yeah. When you're not taking everything literally, you're tinkering. Mm -hmm. So I put out my arm and hold your hand for a second. And then I <laughs> climb. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> and then I climb up on your shoulder. I notice it's like, Temujin. Ah, don't you worry, but you're going to fucking drown. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> it's getting deeper and deeper. And you got the little... I mean, you're, your donger is now underwater. Yeah, at this point, you guys are going to slosh some, through, like, hip deep water. Some f slosh, slosh. Some slosh. giant who knows what's going to nibble on the worm. How tall are you guys? <laughs> I'm six feet. I'm just over seven. A little over six. Okay, so for you, it's like your dangerous hands aren't quite wet. You guys are about hip deep. I thought you were like, I can breathe on half. Yeah, you don't have to breathe, right? Yep. Hey, what do you say? You give me a. A one, two, heads up before you you start breathing underwater, okay? Because I can't do that. <laughs> do we get deep enough where we have to swim? Not yet. Okay. So you guys get to uh, the large domed uh, structure, and it, what it looks like is there's the massive blocks making up uh, sort of a rounded, massive rounded building, and then, like... Maybe about 20 feet up, the dome starts. And it's just massive bricks. Mm. And they kind of like go up. And it's huge. It's like 60 feet. What do you think before? they would use this for? Is this mm -hmm. like a council hall? He has one perception. I know not to hit your dice with mine. <laughs> yeah, it works so well. My curse spreads even to you. Yeah, see? Yeah, yeah. He rolls a 19 and a 20. I roll a 3. <laughs> okay. um, 8. So, yeah, I got a natural 20. Oh. And I got a 16. 14. Okay. So, yeah, I'm distracted and I'm thinking, this was here before. Just yeah, like that was good. under the water. You're not in the water. So, you guys that are in the water, occasionally you feel these, like, really cold currents brush, pa brush past your legs where it's, like, really fucking cold all of a sudden. Feels like the water should be frozen hmm. and the way those currents are moving. And what you see as you're looking at the edifice is it's like the whole of the dome and the structure is dark. The light's not shining through it. And you realize this first and maybe point it out and help your slower compatriots. But uh, the shadows that seem to have engulfed the walls of the edifice extend into the water. 
Uh, there's shadowy tendrils in the water, and they move back and forth. And as the shadow and tendril moves past you, it feels freezing cold, and then it moves on. Mm. It looks like something with tentacles. <clears throat> Wait, what? What was that? It gets cold whenever the shadow passes us. Mm. He says all this, and we see it. I don't know. What do you say? Yeah, that's about what I would say. <coughs> <laughs> You, you guys should get up out of the water. That's what I think. <laughs> is this just shadow? Or yeah, is totally it natural shadow, of course. Material. Uh, I imagine it is similar to what I was saying with the uh, the walls, where there is something on the other side of them, but it is not in the physical plane. I have the octopus. Mm. I do not <laughs> understand this. This guy, it's just like this. Look, it's just like this. He's inside the globe, and the shadow's inside the vat. Are there shadows in the water? Mm-hmm. They're like tentacles. Oh. The water is on the outside. Well, all right, so the analogy's not perfect. Okay, so let's get the fuck out of this water, then. Yeah, into the building. Do you see a door? Mm. That's where we're going, right? That's the whole point. The sh- Was this main thoroughway to this uh, dome? Is there a main entrance from this main thoroughway? Uh, there's one entrance to the dome. You guys have to walk around it to find it. We'll keep walking. How is it we never get the right... I mean, the the... Road pointed right at the building, but the door's not here. Yeah. Every road points to this building. Uh, so there's what you no realize, cross streets. What you realize as you walk around is that all the roads coming in from the surrounding area, they're like spokes, right, heading out towards the walls. There are cross streets that are in rings around this building, but the layout of the city looks like a bunch of concentric wheels attached by spokes until you get to the square outer wall. And that's where, in the corners, there's, like, concentration. But you probably won't ever see that. So the architecture of the whole city is shaped around this dome building. Magnificent. However, it seems bizarre that they put a square wall around around building. Let's go all the way back and check out that square wall. <laughs> you guys come around to the front of the building, and what it looks like is it looks like a, an arched hallway leading out from the front, kind of like what you would think of as an igloo no. sort of opening. And uh, it descends down. How tall is the ceiling? I mean, it's 12 feet above you. Would it, you know, think about everything's built on a 12 foot scale instead of a 10 foot scale. Sweet. Does it look like, I mean, that descends down. Are we going to have to swim? That's what, I, yeah, like, uh, what does it look like? Is it it a, goes down a few steps. Like the water? No. The tunnel, does it go down to the point where? Does it go up? There's no so it left? cuts off the water and then goes down, or does it just go straight down and water flows down? Uh, it, so Is it an underwater temple? In, it goes like this. So it's an underwater temple. Maybe someone that is good at swimming. I do. Or you do not need to breathe. I do not need to breathe, but I believe going alone would be bad. If we go tomorrow, I could make it so that all of us could breathe underwater. Well, how about we just do a bit of recon today, and then you quit making all breathe tomorrow. Yes, Tenenjin. You're the smallest. You go first. Hi. You, come on, let's go first. <laughs> okay, I'll head over that direction. Wait, see, so we're not going you, alone. If I'm you walk first. in, right, the water deepens until it's around your shoulders. <gasps> One, hey. two, and then I go under. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> so give me the one too. If we're gonna go under. Hey, hey! Classic, classic Temujin. Just dunk Temujin. Okay. I get. I say one two, and then I go under. I give a chuckle as I watch him go. <laughs> okay, Bloop. you go underwater. Temujin's on his shoulders. Mm-hmm. Yep. Do you guys don't have a light source? 
Uh, no. Is it too dark rock. to be able to see with dark vision? I mean, you can see a little bit, right? Like, are you going to go follow them? There's no need for me to go. We can stay back here and rest. This is a good plan. Your friends ain't coming back. That's what Abner says. <laughs> Abner's with us? Yeah. Oh, I thought he stayed back. No, he walked with you guys. So he you actually going walked up to, to the building. Do some recon. They should be back shortly. All right. He pulls out a piece of gum. Want one? Don't eat it. No. All right, suit yourself. He would swallow the gum. Right. Yeah. Understandably. So, how long are we waiting for him till we leave? <laughs> Recon should take maybe 15 minutes. So maybe. you figure after about an hour and a half we go back? Maybe well, we'll we can stay in the city. What are you night. saying, Abder? I'm saying your friends ain't coming back. I'm clear. There is no innuendo in my tone, friend. They ain't coming back. Mm-hmm. I see. Well, if we don't see them in an hour, we're going after them. And you're coming with us. <laughs> I'll be here with you. <laughs> mm. I Meanwhile, well, what? <laughs> you guys are in the underwater hallway, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you're swimming towards uh, what looks like a blank wall. Psychically, I say, oh, I'm going to need to breathe pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> How long can you hold your breath? We should look this up. Yeah. Uh oh. It's equal to your, your constitution mod. mod per minutes or something. Okay. What's your constitution mod? Two. Sweet, so you can hold it for two minutes before you start to suffocate. Yeah. So after about 30 seconds, I start poking the bear. Like, hey, hey, uh, pretty soon we're going to need to... You go up. Hmm? Okay. The ceiling has descended in the hallway. I'll go back. Okay. So we go 30 seconds in and 30 seconds back. Cool. I mean, at the end of the hallway is what looks like a blank wall. Hmm. All right, so we got, we now know there's a big wall. A wall, yes. Uh, did you see any sort of mechanisms? I did not. I don't think we had enough time, and it was too dark. All right, what do you? You got any more of them glowing rocks? If there is a stone around that is small, I could turn it into one of those. Does it have to be? How small does the stone have to be? Um. Small enough to fit in a hand? Oh, all right, yeah. I got one of these. And I bring out the little brick that has the wobbly lines on it. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't believe that would right. work. <laughs> Why not? Are you, yes. you guys are in out back where the air is? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You cast light on it? Mm, I don't believe that one would work. Why not? That one has weird things on it. But it... It has to be a... Uh, a Small, mundane rock. Just a normal one that you find anywhere. What happened to the one that you used before? Um, I don't know. I may have pocketed it. I imagine I probably have a couple of them that I could hold on to. Okay. Does it have to be a rock? Does it, could it be anything but small and mundane? Mm. I mean, we got Elio's manhood. <laughs> 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 No. Uh, He's looking up rules right now. Yeah. See. For drowning. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Up How long does it take for a gnome to drown? <laughs> yeah, a tiny non magical object as an action, I can. It's one. Plus. Should, right, like, one plus your con mod. So. Oh, so three minutes. Tiny non magical right. object. So, did yeah. I. Would you say I would you think enough to keep a my, couple in my pocket? My so, op- or you can use a coin. Yeah, okay. Coin. Yeah, I'll grab a. You could use the octopus. I usually give all my money to him, so. Bummer. Yeah. You all I probably have like a pebble or two. Yeah, so also I'll use a pebble. Can, yeah, I'll grab a pebble. You give Cast the up. light on it and throw it down there, see if it sinks. Bloop. Okay, yeah. Bloop. And it lights up There's the some. hallway. You can see the light uh, coming out of the entrance, but not through the walls. So I have one lit up, and then I throw it down there, and then I light up another one, and kind of 
go back down. All right. Uh, I'm going to, yeah, I'll leave my backpack up on here um, and my shield and my walking stick because those aren't going to be useful. Okay. And all right, let's go find out, see if we can see any door open and singing me jabs. Okay. So as you guys are going to go back to the water, you can see the light from the pebble that you threw down there and something mm-hmm. occludes the light and moves past it. And then you can see it again. Perhaps we not not go back down there. Something was moving. <laughs> <laughs> the cowardly robot. <laughs> <laughs> Tin Man, you're supposed to be the one with no art. <clears throat> we are uh, currently not with the group. I believe a fight at this point of anything would not be a good idea. No, it might right. just be a goblin. You got that. It's probably just one of more of them tentacles of shadows. We back up. I back up. All right. All right. I don't know if you're on it. All right, so clear, gents. Come on in. <laughs> what? Okay. All right. No one here. There's a stairway can, down. We can't go much can, further, but at we least we're him? covered from the rain. Can we hear him? Yeah, we're right there. Yeah, we're, oh, <laughs> Temujin, what's going on? We got a, a slopes down a bit this way, ends in a wall that we can't seem to get past. That's all. We got more to move the shadows of cars. So a lot of swimming <coughs> required. No, so not a lot. As we know, it only goes about thirty feet. This is fifty feet, hundred feet. reconnaissance. We should come back tomorrow when we can all breathe underwater. I threw a uh, a small pebble that I lit up down there, and uh, something blocked it, like obscured it, and moved past. It's similar to the tentacles, yeah, but the uh, shadow arms. The shadow arms are shadows. They do not, I believe. Obscure the light. Uh, that's a what a fucking shadow is. Light. A shadow <laughs> a is shadow means obscures the light. A shadow is created by obscuring light. It does not obscure light itself. Unless light it's creates just shadow. shadow. Hmm? Unless it is just shadow. Yeah. It's not like it is a shadow of something else. Either way, I thought we were just doing reconnaissance hmm. so we can come back tomorrow. And we were. I think Here's we were doing a bit the more. Idea, I believe. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, what do you guys want to do for a day? Well, I pull out my flute. <laughs> <laughs> I, if he pulls out his flute, I go walk back to the the building that we were staying in. <laughs> do you guys want to just make day. progress? I guess if if you don't want to go forward here, do you want to go forward there? Maybe we hit this Why place on the way back after we, we go to come the back Mount tomorrow Nazi. and then not do it. Well, how much time do you suppose we're going to have out here? Four days to Eric's. <laughs> Four days to Eric's. <laughs> <laughs> if it is two days, we could take one more, then it would be three. Well, if it's two days out to Old Man Mousy, we go out there, deal with it, come back. We could be here in uh, four days. And the old man, maybe the, the Eric things could help us get in here. However, if the uh, if we find anything here that could help us against Old Man Mossy, hey. then we would not have it if we did not True. go here. Or if anything we get from Old Man Mossy could help us here, we wouldn't have Abdair, it. Abdair, you said thing. that Old Man Mossy would want to train. I oh, yeah. Well, then we don't have much to trade. We so. have plenty to trade. Oh, yeah. What do we have he to trade? He full will. We do not want to trade anyone's life. Yeah, not that do we life. still have plenty to trade without no. trading life? Well, let's talk to your short friend over here. I think we could we could do it either way. We could go here, we could go there. I think we're prepared to either way. We can handle this. What are we trading old man Mossy? To, to, if we don't get anything here. If we don't get anything here, you're going to be the last one to give up your magic item. Mm. Just like the rest of us did. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, no. <laughs> Chad. Bro, no. <laughs> they will. Technical leaves. Axe still has the staff. Well, we're yes. going to lose that on the way, probably down here. Hmm. Oh, man. 
come with us. We're going right now. We're going to find some other magical shit. Yeah, I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. we got to get other things here. Some different thing. As of right now, you have something that could feed Old Man Mossy a big, intelligent meal every week. Mm. That, that would probably be enough to let us get past. At least one way. We'd be able to get down. Coming back out, who knows? <laughs> Here's hoping we find something really special down there. Why do not no, we just wait for tomorrow? If Mossy trades you, he'll trade you for... It'll probably be for a there and back sort of deal. All right. I yeah. mean, you trade him for passage. All right. With that said, we are going to have to make sure that we're in such a position as he can't just take it from us. It's not worth it to him to just oh. kill the five of us. That ain't how it works. Oh, all right. He does does things on the the up and up. Well, if we ask to make a deal, he'll stop killing us long enough to see if we have something worth trade that he... There's rules to this stuff, son. I like that. I like the rules. Well, so D. Maybe one day I'll grow up to be like an old man, Marcy. I do not believe you would wish You to hear a little chuckle in the back of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Town boy. <laughs> <laughs> so tomorrow morning, oh, we'll go down here. You don't know how long the nights are. And there's too many things to look at. <laughs> the nights are usually eight hours. That is in true. In true? D- don't you start talking about me accent, right? <laughs> Miss Dill. Getting, getting a little worse. Getting a little worse. All right. I say Imagine. we've got to get started one way or another. I don't want to spend another night looking at the big wiggly Let's things. Wait one night. more night. I agree. We should have. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking traitor! You made me stay up all night staring at the wiggle things in the bricks. What wiggle things in the bricks are you talking about? These! King, 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 king. There's nothing in the bricks there now. Well, I can't see them. It's the the light makes it all. Yeah, whatever. Damage. You need to rest. I do. Perhaps I maybe can. you should go to sleep. I want to. <laughs> it's not working. I do. You've probably noticed, but it's been on like a week or two. I, I just haven't been able to fall asleep. You haven't slept in a week. That ain't healthy, son. I, I, uh, so yes. I, that's why you look like shite in a shingle. I, yes, it looks like you, yes. It's not ideal. Is it because of Orin? Do you miss Probably. Orin? Pro- uh, yes, that's what it is. He was such a a beacon of light, of leadership. Um, he was uh, a noble fellow. May he guide us from beyond and such. And kill Tamat's family. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's, that was part of his charm. He had no problem killing a million people. <laughs> as long as he was one of them and didn't have to sit around and deal with survivor's guilt. That was not, he was not really a good man. <laughs> that's why he's not going back. <laughs> <laughs> survivor's guilt. <laughs> Perhaps just one more night as we go into the temple. We go find the artifacts. We trade them to Old Man Masi. Everything is just dandy. Demogen, this was the plan. I mean, it sort of was. I mean, the original plan was to hole up here for six hours and then get moving on to the center again. We got a repository of knowledge. We need to access as soon as possible. If we can't go here, we gotta go somewhere else. I can I'm going to go fucking mad if we have to just wait. You appear to already be mad. I'm getting upset. Why are you but so mad? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> He's getting enraged. <laughs> he appears to be taking a number out of your book. Oh. Huh? You tend to get Yeah, what are you gonna do with all, all of them numbers? What yeah. numbers? Oh, they're inside the dome. What dome? That one right there. Where? Down here. Numbers. Come on, I'll show you. What door? Here, right here. I'll show you. What is going on? Look. And like, come on, come on. Is he going to water? Well, I'm, I'm waving him toward there. 
I go, but I see the water. Right. No. Look, it's like four spans, and then we come to a wall. Do you want to help me see if we can find... We need to know what we're going to be facing. See if you can find a door handle or something. Don't turn it, of course. You don't want to go in yet. We could come back tomorrow. What if we dam up this hole, the doorway, so that the water's not coming in, and we scoop, we can pail some stuff out? That we could, we can do that over the course of a day. Something. What if we just come back tomorrow? And it'll still be the same fucking problem that we got right now. But we'll have the robot's magic equipment. So we could still make our things improved. We could we can improve our chances. You know, got a bucket. You could just scoop, scoop water out. <laughs> so I, I walk away. I can't believe you're the back. first one to walk away. Adri gives you some pat in the back before he leaves. I even put my flute away for you. <laughs> I mean, right now you're like you're in water up to like your chin almost. Yeah, I mean, if everyone else is leaving. Swim. <laughs> you going by yourself? No, I'm g- I gotta oh. swim everywhere here. <laughs> <laughs> well, the the city goes like this. It's in a depression. Well, now we got plenty of time to investigate those corners. And why we got a square walls around a round city? Perhaps it was just wishing to be edgy. I killed myself. <laughs> <laughs> I hold my head underwater. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> you cannot breathe underwater yet. I would recommend doing that tomorrow. You need to relax. <laughs> relax. I can't do it. There is no relaxing. <laughs> I lay down on the ground and I like just kind of pop I my close head my up. eyes and start meditating. You're going to just pass the whole fucking day. What are you going to eat? Rations. What rations? Non-meat rations. Yeah, you're a vegetarian. We all got non-meat rations. Lumber spread. The desert equivalent. Mm. It's probably wet and mushy by now. Yeah. Mealy and gross. Mm. <laughs> I mean, the ones that me and him had were definitely mushy because we went underwater. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're going back to where it's shallower. <laughs> Kick my feet up. Temujin, you... I walk away. No. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to go scout around town a little bit. Yep. I'm going to scout where it's shallower. That's the corners. Yep. Okay. So you make your way to the corner? Yeah, if that's where. Is it, like, dry there? Uh, I mean, at, if you walk right up into the corner, yes. But it's going to get shallower and shallower as you go. Um, how do you get to the corner? You're going to pass the gate? Avatar's going to swing by the gate first. Yeah, I'll walk with him that far. Okay. <sighs> As you guys are getting close to the gate, you see something crowding the, the swamp outside the gate. Oh, shit. What do we got here? He slows down. I don't like, like the look of that. I wouldn't get too close if I was you. It's a bunch of cattle bleepers. They won't come in through the door, will they? I don't seem like it. Do you want to test the theory? Not very much. Nor do I. Glad we didn't bring the barbarian with us. I mean, there's like five of them out there that we can see from here. Who knows, who knows how many are on the corner? Some of them are making like that horrible lowing noise they make. If we wait a day, are they going to continue gathering? Is it going to get worse? It may have. I don't know. Is that our only way out, you think? Uh, looks like the easy, it was the easiest way out. Yeah, I'm beginning to think there might be another easier way. Any other way might be easier than that. Some of these places have subterranean caverns that connect with the outside. It's possible we might be able to find some stuff that descends to below the surface of the city inside of that yonder domed edifice. That's kind of what I was thinking. But I'm not so sure. A bit of free knowledge here. There is 
back in the last town we were at, up in the mountains, there was a tower under the mountains that looked vaguely like the shape of that centerpiece. Hmm, you don't say. Not 100% sure, obviously. It, I, my current hunch is that, yeah, that goes a long way down mm. there in the center. I think it's all wet and watery. No. If it's anything like I'm imagining, there, there are quite a few doors along the way to help keep it out. Mm. Well, why are we waiting until tomorrow? Um, because my adventuring party don't much like adventuring. Mm. There's a certain point we're gonna, we might have to leave them. If we're gonna get out of here. Well, I can't do that. I made a deal with the skinny one. Which one's the skinny one? No, no, I deal the, I guess the deal to come along was with you. That was the gamble. Deal with the skinny one was to cut free, get the church and cut free the baby. All right. So I guess I go where you go. <laughs> <laughs> but between me and you, I don't much like the idea of leaving your adventure and companions to die in the swamp. No, nor do I. And to be honest, the, one of the main reasons I keep them around is they're right handy in the battle. Even if they are prone to getting us into the trouble in the first place. Uh -huh. But they're re relatively decent at fighting their way out of the wet paper bag they bring down upon us. Well, for the time being, yeah, I'm going to check things out since we, we don't have any solid plans. What it. was that? <laughs> <laughs> the Blapuses. <laughs> um, what a fit name. What do you say we give it a couple hours? Maybe till, till about lunch. Then we try to meet up. See if I can convince him again. Alright. I'm going to probably walk some of the perimeter. That's what I was thinking too. If you're, you're heading that way, I think I'll go this way. Good enough. It looks shallower over there. Probably so. So he wanders away from you. Get your shit in line, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone walks away from you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, do you walk along the front of the... Mm -hmm. Okay, what are you guys doing, Meanwhile, Meditating. Okay. I'm just relaxing. Okay. I probably have their cloaks and I'm Next just, like a high, like a hiney home. Yeah. Okay. All Getting right. Things ready. They do nothing. Back to you. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so you're walking along the front of the, the wall and it does get shallower as you approach the corner. And what it looks like at the corner is there's a building shaped like kind of a triangle with a semicircle cut out of the inside that fills the space from the outer ring if you were to follow the road around, right? But there's a huge tower coming from it. So, corner. So, think about it this way. All the rows are circles, right? Yep. At some point, you're going to get to the corner. The circle kind of brushes the outside of the wall by the gate. And as it curves in, there's a big building shaped like that. Mm, right? Okay. So, it's shaped like this. Kind of a triangle. So that But the bottom... Of the triangle, the longest arm, whatever that's called, is curved to match the road. So there's a tower. There's a tower. And there's a sound coming from the building as you approach it, like a low hum. Think of like the noise that a transformer makes. I try to match it with my voice. Sure. So you're Gregorian throat chanting or something. <laughs> Trying to find the pitch. Okay. And I'm watching. I'll creep a little bit forward. Okay. 
Is there like access points to this tower? I mean, it just looks like flat, smooth, curved wall. But if you traverse it, uh, what happens is you get to a point that's like directly opposite of the point, and uh, some red lights kind of like swim to the surface of the wall. Uh, Intelligence check. I uh, well, sure. I'll start there. Is it bad? Of course, it's bad. I rolled to die. You punch it with your face. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Good God, man. This. Okay, so no I, hints. I don't really understand what's going on in this campaign. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Mathematically impossible rolling. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing to watch. <laughs> He has such potential. <laughs> <laughs> and yet it's unrealized. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you see... Like we said, it's an eye game. The red... <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. You see the red lights swim to the surface of the wall, and there's like three, 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 and then one at the bottom. The three eyes? No, lights. Lights. Three, Ding. three, three, one. And then a bar. Uh, You've seen this before, haven't you? Mm -hmm. the, uh, have to, yeah. Um, two one five eight six seven five three zero nine. Do you do it? Um. So <coughs> this is right next to a door. No, it's not just next to in the wall. Two one five eight six seven five three zero nine. Okay. Enter. Or button. Sure. <laughs> button. <laughs> okay. Line. What you see is like fluid. The wall flows away, and there's a gap in it now. Cold radiates out of the gap. Ooh, there's like a there's frost. In there. That kind of like the frosty sort of fog that kind of peels away when two temperatures meet each other. Mm hmm. No. Fogs up the glasses. Basically. <laughs> And it's like totally dark in there. <clears throat> you can see vague outlines of things. It looks like a hallway that goes in and then there's like a tube-like structure about 10 paces into the hallway. This is the real way in. I step back and I look up the tower. Mm -hmm. Is there any sort of like windows or anything? No. Uh, the tower just looks like a conical shape that leads up to a bulb on the end. So I'm going to peek my head in and see, is there also a control pad on the inside? Uh, you peek your head in, give me a wisdom save. Magic? Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. What do you roll? Twelve. With advantage. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't okay. matter what I do. <laughs> so you peek in. You breathe out as you peek in. Your breath mists as soon as your head's across the threshold. You're looking for something, and then, like, your mind gets kind of fuzzy, and there's a voice in your head that says, Come in, Temujin. I've been waiting to speak with you. Then you feel so inclined. Yeah, okay. I, I assumed that was the case when everything went fuzzy. Yeah. Just kind of... Okay, you wandered. Yep. The door closes behind you. Yep. That's you us. No, I am not your friend, your patron, or your benefactor. I can't see anything. Mm, easily remedied. You see a bunch of ghostly shapes swim to the walls through the black, like, medium that makes up the walls. And they're kind of slated bioluminescent. It almost feels like, uh, you know, you got nature, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, they're like strange jellyfish. Mm -hmm. They're bioluminescence, but they're sort of shaped kind of like humanoids, except there's, like, things coming from their face. 
There's more than one, mm. and they swim from brick to brick. Mm-hmm. That gives oh. you this feeling of like being underwater. Kind of like if you were to walk through a tunnel in one of those weird like tanks mm-hmm. that has all the sharks and the shit moving around the tunnel. Yeah, that's very much what I'm experiencing. Yeah. Ah, that's a little bit better. I am curious how this will end. As am I. Well, what do you call yourself? Where are you? I can't even see you. As much as I can see now. Um, you can call me Yule. Yule. That will work for now. Yule. Ah, like the Christmas. Father Christmas. <laughs> he laughs. <laughs> hey, I appreciate that you get that joke. I wasn't sure that you were really the Christmas celebration type. Well, I celebrate all sorts of things. Like fresh. Mm. So you recognize my name, and you also recognize the name of Oz and what I, he is to me. I know Oz Lagan. So, how do you know each other? We're related. Oh, you're one of the family. You can say that. Oh. Which one are you? Yule. Yule. No, I'll be doing the questioning. <laughs> Uh, you're funny, you have jokes. Yes. Come downstairs. Oz likes that bit too. Yes. And uh, I'm like walking. I Wait, shit. He does. <laughs> <laughs> and so, as you walk further in, uh, like this cylindrical sort of structure at the back of the hallway, uh, there's a door that slides open and just kind of manifests. Whoa. So, what it is. What is your part in this little game? I mean, right now I'm, I'm sleeping. Mm-hmm. But when I wake up, just like most of my brethren, I hope that I get the chance to consume your plane. Well, yeah, all of you are frightened for that one. Not all of us. All right. Well, you know, more than enough to make sure that it happens. Well, even then, it has been a near thing many times and hasn't occurred. Mm. This time is different, though. Well, yeah, I'm here this time. <laughs> Among other things. <laughs> Although you've been here other times. And you will be here in future times. Hey. I see you don't understand. No, no, that, that's one of the mysteries I haven't been explained. What, uh... Give me a... Uh... Kind of a placeholder. I know that you're infinitely vast and all that, all those good things. Um, but for a wee mortal mind such as myself, um, I appreciate just, you know, a summary. You know, Oslagon is kind of the mad scientist observer who likes to see what's going on. Uh, Sarcophagon likes to fiddle with life. You know, where, what's your your angle on this, Yule? I'm the one that dreams. You're the the dreamer, the imaginative oh. one. Oh. You come up with all sorts. Do you know where I am right now? Yes, I do. The dead city of Zorks. Of Z- uh, the orcs? Zorks. Oh, dead city Zorks. <laughs> they existed long before your kind showed up here. They're the one that make the big moving towers. The flying missiles, rockets. Excuse me. I'm not sure I know what what it is that you speak of. Oh, man, boy. It feels good to have one on you, then. Perhaps we'll trade information. Missiles? Like a a bow and arrow. Sort of. Forget the subject. Let's see. You never dreamed of a missile. All right. Maybe it's more of a... I mean, I just don't understand where... A, a mover. It. It's like a building that's well, a bow and arrow. Why would you need to have a building like a bow and arrow? <laughs> if you need to move from one place to another, don't you just fold the places together and then unfold them? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that. Wait, can you do that? 
How do you think you got there? It's here? I walked through the built the door. And oh, you you I cold forget. breathed me. Your mind me. is so small. You cold breathed me. And you know, I feel like I should be more scared. What are you doing to me? <laughs> This, it, says, it feels a bit like a dream where I'm just kind of going along with a thing. Oh, yeah. Well, life is often like that. <sighs> merrily, 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 life is but a dream. I was just singing this song last night. I don't understand. I, look, it's kind of like having a conversation with Tomat right now. He's just <laughs> not understanding anything. Well, your existence is so limited and I... Most of the time, just float through mine, and I take certain things for granted that you have yet to experience. Like the multiplicity of the dimensional spaces that you occupy simultaneously. Yeah, we got three dimensions. Oh, man. Uh, yes, uh, sort of. So what are your friends doing in Zorks? Uh, mostly being cowardly. Hmm. We were. What's in the center? Anything worth looking at? Tomb. Ooh, I do like a good tomb. Oh, I don't know if you do. Oh, I, I'm sure I can handle it with your help. Well, yeah, I don't think I'd be helping you. Why not? Well, I'm in the tomb. But you're sleeping there. Well, I'm dead. Is this one of the multiplicity things? No. I'm dead in all the places. That's how we sleep. Death is strange and mostly transient for our kind. So you don't <coughs> want me going into the, the tomb? Well, I don't know if it's about what I want. Think about it like this. Do you know what getting sick is? Do you have medicine? Uh, I mean, I don't have it. Like, do you have a high I, wisdom? Yeah, it's like I have... I understand that you get, yeah, you got to cough and sneeze on you. Well, there's small invaders in your body that are causing your body to react in a way that makes the... <laughs> I like uh, the slides. Pardon. The, the, the teethy claw, you guys, the reds and the blues. They can turn you into them. Oh. Sargothgon's been at it. Yeah, she's all over the place here. I think she's winning the race. Well, Ur's just probably now entering the fray. His domain usually follows hers in rotation. Ur's? Yeah. Ur's. Uh, Earthogen? Ergothen. Earth, Earth, Ergothen. Yeah. Yeah. You know, devouring hunger. Oh, yeah. That's his thing. Yep. We met him. He's a, he's a bit of a... So anyways, hey. if you enter the crypt... There are parts of me in there that will act against you as if you were a foreign body, without my consent one way or the other. Oh. Got defenses and traps and such. Gotcha. Think about it more like a runny nose or a fever. Yeah. But. No. No, uh, the analogy gets tricky if I really push it too far. <laughs> Could you get into the tomb, possibly benefit, get back out? Yes. But it will be difficult for you, and I might accidentally kill you. Well, yeah, I mean, we got we got that going on. Even now, your life is in a tenuous grasp. I can tell. I'm getting really cold. No. Sorry about that. Why am I going this way? Can you point me back out to the door? S step into this cylindrical room, then. Yeah. Is this going to take me there? Sure. All right, so the door closes. As it's closing, you can make another wisdom roll if you want to. Come on. Natural 20. Okay, so you're like, oh, yeah, everything's great. You walk in it, and the door starts to close, and it's almost like you wake up from being asleep, and you realize, like, where you are and what's going on. And I dive roll as <laughs> out. Okay, so you little tumble. Out. <laughs> and it's like, whoa. It closes, and he says in your voice, or in your mind, don't you want to see me? Well, see, uh, maybe, I mean, you were kind of tr kind of tricking me a little bit there. Yeah. How was I tricking you? 
uh, you were making making me fine with this, and this is not something I'm fine with. You mean you were sleepy? Yes, and I don't sleep anymore. It's uh, been. I mean, so that's why it's so hard for me to take my grip on you. And I guess don't grip me. I just there's no reason. Hey, I was thinking. Is there something maybe? If I went and got my friends, something we could do for you. Or is there, or you got, you got, you're just a dreaming, but is there any interests or, you know, things you're trying to accomplish? Um, you, I'm looking for, come on, let, let, let's, let's head back to the front door. I need more footholds in this world before I can awaken. And you feel like a pressure in your mind. Uh, He's going to attempt to... Uh, Mind fuck you again. I need man. The natural twenty does nothing for long term. I need to get out of here. <laughs> twenty three. Okay, so you can push it off, uh, but you know it's a matter of time if you can't get back outside. Yeah, pinch, 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 pinch. Right. Uh, uh, no. Run down the hall. <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 <coughs> can, can, it'd be much better if we can... As you're down the hall, later. the weird ghostly shapes kind of flow down the hall with you. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the cold seems to be emanating from them. This is very uncomfortable. It's like, come, Temujin. Um, yeah, well, see... Why would you want just one of us when you could have all of us? We got, I got a whole group. I don't like to be here alone. It's <laughs> not great. <Do> you like, <laughs> as you get close, the red lights will swim towards that side of the wall. Mm. <laughs> Two, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bing! The door opens. <clears throat> Step outside. Okay. Immediately it's warmer. <sighs> you feel his connection with you break. And the door closes. Well, wasn't that interesting? <sighs> I gotta go find the others. Okay. Mm. I will do so by running around the perimeter, hoping to catch up with Abner. After. Okay. Okay, so you you run here like calling it. You see him standing in front of the other one at the other corner, looking at the red lights that have swum up into the front of the wall. I mean, you're gonna run like for a long time before you get there, but eventually you'll yeah. find him. Twenty minutes later, right? <laughs> Hold on, hold on, Miss. Uh, don't. Ooh, I gotta get him in better shape. You don't want to go in there. That's. I got in the other corner, and figured out quite a bit. Good stuff. Yeah. Well, what do you know? Well, first, that we don't want to go in there. Second, how to get in there. Third, is connected to the big thing in the middle. Well, that's good, right? Maybe. We. You've lived out here your whole life, right? And you're. Your town. Mm -hmm. You got maybe a story. Maybe Larry and Larry. What do you know of the dreamers? Is there a myth of a great sleepy something or other out here? No. no. 
there, well, there is a myth about these ruins themselves, and that they're the wandering ruins. They move around from place to place, but they've been here for on, maybe a hundred years. Maybe, I don't know how long. One day they just appeared. And they brought with them hags, and the hags brought the Bleepus. Well, the hags all died off eventually, killed my kin. But the Bleepus, Bleepus. they started to reproduce. But they don't come inside here. Nay, they fled the city when they showed up. The stories say the city somehow pursued them. So it followed. Well, that doesn't make no sense. Uh, so it was a cold day, uh, which is strange out here. Wait, it's what? Cold day. So cold that most of the swamp froze. And it just showed up. But anybody who ventures into it and stays for too long, they don't come back. Okay, so that that's one of those useful bits of information that perhaps that's what get I focused. Saying. Hey, that's if your friends go in there, you're all gonna die. If you go in there, you're gonna die. Hey, your friends are probably gonna die. <laughs> How many times do I have to say it before <laughs> you will start listening to me? What, what do you recommend we're going to do? Do you think we should just run off to the old Mamasi? I mean, look, I'm just a glorified tour guide, but I really reckon that the safest thing is to get there as soon as we can, cut a deal if at all possible, and get the fuck out. The swamp is a deadly place, and the farther into it you venture, the lower your chances of coming back. But, what the fuck do I know anyways? I value your insight. Now, now you do. Yeah. yeah, I just spent some time in that cold fucking tower, and I don't think that we're going to get much benefit out of going inside. Definitely won't get much benefit out of waiting all day. And, yeah, that thing... I think, let's, I know I said, uh, I don't know how much time has passed, but I, I reckon I'm, I'm going to head back and see if I can talk them in one way or the other, headed toward old Mamasi, or if we're going to do any sort of exploring into that center, we're going to have to do it right away. And this waiting around, it's not worth it. All right, well, let's get back. So you guys get back. Oh, gentlemen. Oh, have you calmed down, Temujin? Uh, well, let's just say my energy has been redirected. We got, we got other things to worry about. I don't suppose it'd be in our best interest to wait until tomorrow. Just like I was saying before, but now I have a reason for it. And what is your reason? Things are getting worse. So, the Catablepuses, yep, they followed us over here. We're out by the door, and I look at uh, Adner. At least five of them waiting past the only known exit. So if we're going to do it, we better do it now when there's only five catablepuses, which is a crazy fucking sentence. What are you saying? Hmm. So you're saying that we should kill the catablepus. There's more. No, there's probably more. To by as a it's a bad idea. Do you remember just the one? The f- five, I said. I know. Just the one was enough. Oh, yeah. It's not a good thing. But my guess is it's on, only going to get worse. <laughs> like, like, a, <laughs> yeah. like a miscellaneous pencil that me. I just... <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, slap! <laughs> <laughs> I crucified myself. <laughs> so, there's, okay? there's one bad thing on the bad side. Uh, on the other, sort of good news, sort of bad news... I found out what's inside the big center. You went inside the big center? Uh, I found a way s- sort of in. You I'm found pretty, a way into the center? Well, no. I found a way in the corners. There are these towers. I was exploring a bit where it wasn't so deep. And I found a way into them. And, and that helps you get into the centile? Sorta. Maybe. Not sure. 
But I found my way in, and I think that it'll be the same way to get into the center here. And you know what? It's the same code as the thing at the tower under the mountain. Hmm. You don't know what the fuck we're talking about, but you, you two do. do. They. <laughs> I don't think like yeah. you told anyone. No, I don't know about the. You, you don't know anything about the code, but you don't need to. But it's the same. Is what the important word. Four letters, same. That's where one thing is just like the other. And this is a lot like there in the mountains. Remember the tower that I was, I would go inside and then there was a tower inside the tower that I only told you a little bit about because it was fucking complicated. This is sounding complicated. I know. Can well, you this not one explain is it a, any better? Here, I'll dumb it way the fuck down for you. This will be fine. <laughs> Inside. I don't know if I can dumb it down enough for you. It's like a tower. It is not a tower. Inside, it's like a tower. You've been inside it. The one. Yes. This dome, you've been inside the dome. If, if it makes you feel better, sure. There was another one, just like this. Another one, just like this in the tower. That's where we lost, or he went inside. I thought this was a volcano. No. You yeah. can't explode a volcano by choice. There was a building in there. It was not lava. You know, you're right. I can't dumb it down enough for you. <laughs> you're right. I don't understand, Temujin. What is going on? It's a tomb. It's a tomb. In the center. Full of loot. Um, perhaps. Definitely full of traps. But I know the way in now. And how do we get in? You, the way that we were almost in. We just go in, we go through... The door would close behind us, and there wouldn't be much water inside. We wouldn't have to swim. We wasted all our time if we went and waited for that. The so wall itself will open up. So there's not much water. No. We're, we'll have to swim down because things are get wet on the outside. But as long as we get in, go through, sure, some water will come in with us, but the door will then close, and we'll be fine. However, that's where things get worse. There will be all sorts. Tower and a tomb. The Do what? you know what's inside this tomb? Or who died? If if it's anything like the last one I was in, there will be rooms full of fantastic devices. And the whole place will be big and beyond your wildest dreams. And then way down in the middle will be probably the actual burial. Oh, no. I think. Oh, boy. I'm just getting all sorts of the pieces are falling into place. Do you remember the tadpoles? Mm. A little bit. And the other metal men. Those are like the antibodies. If you're sick and the tadpoles are where they are, that's like the pieces of the one that's dead. But it, that can take on other life and get out. That. Oh, my God. Yeah, I think I'm understanding it. Finally. All right. What do you say? We doing it or no? But, uh... <laughs> 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 you got you get everybody's mouth just, like, dropped open because we're all, like... There's other metal men in there. What is going on here? And all sorts of good things to find. Artifacts of power. Wait, there's more men, like... Yeah. They, um, we'll have to be fast if... See, most of your kind are not quite so friendly as you. I am friendly. Yeah. Yeah, we have reprogrammed you to be just like that. Wait, and have you met more of him? Cars? Well, well, are you cutting stuff again? No. I'm just opening and closing to try to limber him up. <laughs> <laughs> we really are going to the ER today. <laughs> no, I'll drive you. Rescue 911. Five men without pants. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> <in> the room. <laughs> One of them got bored. <laughs> 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 
Temujin, I trust you, right? You are very intelligent. But right now, you're talking crazy. Yes. Everybody's <laughs> like, yeah. So are you suggesting we go in or are you, you need suggesting to, we do not go in? You need to rest. Resting? It ain't going to do nothing for us. If we wait and take a rest, it's only going to get worse. We need to what be decisive and worse? shoot. Was it kept a bleep us? Well, yeah, for one. Then why did they not come in the city? Uh, they can't. So well, then if there is more, does it matter? Uh, so today, there are five. We are not going out that way. I thought we already had said that. Do you know any other way out? Not through that way. <laughs> From what I've explored, there's only the one way. Are there walls around the city? Did yes. we see walls? Yes, that's yeah, the whole way. Big square wall, fucking yeah. walls. How How the sharp. 30 feet. 30 feet? Made yeah. of obsidian. The big mm. bricks with the thing is inside. If we need to get out, I would suggest we go maybe over the wall on another side. Have you done anything useful like explore these possibilities? Or are you just sitting in here jerking off? <laughs> I was not jerking. <laughs> <laughs> he was. He was. I saw him. He had can't his even keep a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> I was not jerking. <laughs> he was playing a skin flute again. <laughs> He had the metal man blowing on it. <laughs> oh, wait. We're a D&D &D breakfast club. We're yeah. guys in the room with no pants. This must have been a dream. Oh, dreams. Yeah. The one that's in there. I can't tell how much you're following what's going on here. You know... You haven't said anything the intelligible. Source. The source. The... All the the creepy uh, the goblins with the arms, the crazy arms. Remember all the mutated life the that we were encountering. Slad were mutated. Uh, slad are kind of. And did you see the goblins with it? Oh, oh no, Slad of Elfman. We that place where we were the other day. We uh. At the we, out, peacekeeper outpost. Yes, we saw goblins, and they had like claws or tentacles, and uh, they were crazy. We, they took over the the town of Rost, and we battled them there, and then we made our way up to the mountain. What are we doing? I don't even care anymore. There are several powers, forces, mm -hmm. that are. Eking their way back into influence. We're the one who makes life change. The goblin-y things. Things like that. Then there's the hunger. The ones that are making the slat. There's, uh, I think, I'm not sure, but you remember the stories of the old wise man up on the other side of the peninsula. Think he might be related to this one here. Is the dreamer? He comes up with crazy things. Timogen, you are great at telling stories. I am so upset with you right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're really great at this. And if this is the truth, why is it the first time you are saying in two weeks? What the why fuck would are you, you talking not about? have told us before? You don't need to know every fucking detail. I thought that I was here because of the visions. Which visions? The visions that people were having. That everyone here, everyone here, but you is odd. Correct. Sure. Except me. Correct. You <laughs> sort of had. Yep. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Again, what are we doing to get out? We're we're trying to go the. The longest term plan we have at the moment is to go to the repository of knowledge, the library, at the center of the swamp, under Old Man Mossy, after we make a deal. That's the primary goal 
I was talking about. about the city. Today, we there are we here. We stopped here so that we could have a spot to put our feet up for a moment and rest. Because we, there's no good place out in the swamp to sleep. They sleep in the water. And you're not doing a very good job at resting. I'm, you know, it's a very busy... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is there any opportunity to meet a new character out here? <laughs> Someone who doesn't give a shit. <laughs> I mean, if you want your character to die, I can make that work. <sighs> Could I be Rock a dreamer? Uh, no, I'm more creative than that. What? We ran into this opportunity. Being here. Adner says there's possibility of great mythical artifacts below. I have some inkling of what they might be, what the defenses against them might be, and how to get in. Those That's really all there is fucking to it. Well, you didn't have to make up some crazy stories to get Shut us Shut your get fucking mouth! <laughs> I'm sick of your bullshit! Oh, man. Are you gonna go... F are we gonna go fight something? Are you gonna sit here and waste time? Thought we had a plan. We're going to wait What's until tomorrow. Yeah, why? You don't know why? There's not going to be enough water to warrant all of us sitting around waiting 24 hours so that we can get some magical artifact to make us breathe underwater when we're going to go under there for 30 seconds. <clears throat> and why are we going down there if we are trying to get out of the city? Because of the magical artifacts of power that were told to us. I don't understand how much further I have to dumb this shit down for you. If we don't want these things, and we want to just go to the center of the swamp, we can do so. It's a bad idea, and it's going to be hard to get out because of the cataplepis. But that was a choice we made, and now we have to make another one. Whether we continue on, or we do we just live here forever? And again, going to the center is going to take more time. If we're going to get out of center the center, the swamp is going to be two days. Two days worth of travel. Unless we sit here and wait all for those two days. The center of the city. It's right there! And we're going to take more time to go down there and explore. I've been. You don't have to explore the whole fucking thing. It's not like we need to complete a quest or something. We're going to go. We're going to open the door. We can be in and out in an hour. I was. The one that was under the mountain, I've been in it probably three times, I think. And you never spend more than a couple of minutes in there. You get what you need and you go. We should just probably play along with Temujin's game right now. If he says there's not going to be water... There will be water, but not a lot. Then we I should. do not care to wait tomorrow. We can go right now. If there's not going to be water. <coughs> the whole plan was to wait to breathe underwater. Here's open. <laughs> <laughs> but you already said water. Yeah. 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 We yeah. open it up and it just stays. Comax, let's play Temujin's game. And I'll start walking towards the thing. Okay. Abner just shrugs. He walks along. Follow. Is Abdair going to go with us? To the gate, I'm sure. And then I look at him. <laughs> well, I'll walk you to the gate. I don't know about going inside. I'm a little bit more worried than you are about what we might find in there. Kind of gives you a look. Abdair, you should come with us. He has already been to the center. I don't think that he has. This is what he said. Uh, sometimes there's a difference between what a man says and what you're thinking that he says. Mm -hmm. But we were playing along with him. Who was that? That's a good one. Somebody's vibrator went ape shit. That was Josh's. Mm. <laughs> More sweat than arriving at my house today. Woo! People. Like, whatever, man. I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> like... So are we walking, talking? Are you riding on him or me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm walking there. Mm, this one could be on your your shoulder. Come on, I got you going. Let's 
If we had spent the first couple hours setting up some sandbags or something and scooping out this water, maybe it wouldn't be such a big deal. We wouldn't have so much water to compete with, but, you know, that was sterile. Abra pulls out his sword and he lights it. He drags it through the water and it hisses and squeals as it cuts through the water. What hisses and squeals? The fiery sword in the water. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Cool. So, um... All right, here we are. <laughs> okay, so you guys get to the igloo like opening, the mouth of the beast. Don't so call to speak. it the mouth. <laughs> so we the cave of wonders. I throw him an end of my rope. Okay, just in case. So you're gonna tie off. What are you? Hold on to this, just in case. Are you just holding in your hands. I'll wrap it around a little bit, I guess. Okay. Is that your swinging end? I can hold this rope and swing my maul. <laughs> Abner's like, I'm not. <laughs> I don't know if I'm necessarily clear on what's going on here. Who's going in there? I imagined all of us were. Oh, all right. Well, then. that'd be the best case scenario. I'll take up the rear. Are you actually going in? <laughs> what? Why are why is that even a question? I am so fucking confused. Who's going first? I am. <clears throat> he knows the way. Huh? And <laughs> Temage and I go in. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Sweet. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Brian, what did you do to us? <laughs> I'm trying to speed this shit along. <laughs> All right. It's dark in there. Does anybody bring a source of light? I got my ever burning torch. Uh, oh, yeah. He's got dark vision. And I got still. dark vision. Sure. Okay. So it's hard to see because it's completely dark. You guys will have disadvantage on perception checks because uh, you have dark vision. So go ahead and roll me some disadvantage perception. That's just straight for you, Alex. <laughs> nice job, dude. 13. Well, again. Yeah, I know. What? With the... <laughs> yep. <laughs> you botch? Fuck yeah, I did. Nice. <laughs> I need to know order. Well, well Temujin first, so that means Tamat and Temujin. Wait, uh, was this their Master Blaster? Wasn't this disadvantage perception? Or... Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah, we're blaster. going in. Okay. Master Blaster in. Who's second? Uh, probably me, since he's got the rope and okay. uh, need to be pulled along, maybe. Yep, I'll maybe. be next and then, then Abner. Abner's in the rear. Yeah. The rear. He's the anchor. All right, so you guys descend into the tunnel. <gasps> right, it's pretty dark down there. Do you bring out your? You don't bring your torch out. You can no, see. No, I got dark kind vision. of. Okay, sweet. Um, something swarms around you when you're in the water. Its touch is icy, uncomfortable, and we're gonna roll initiative. Oh, look at that! A cloak of the manta ray would have been really Son fucking excellent bitch. right now. You goddamn motherfucker! <laughs> Eleven. Well, there's only Take one way out now. 20. I don't All know why I rolled that. Oh, yeah, why'd you roll twice? <laughs> What's up? Only one way out now. All You're so used to rolling two dice. dice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so you're, you're in the tunnel this? leading yeah. to the door. You guys can see the doorway ahead of you. As you get close to it, you see the red light start to swim towards the surface of the wall. Mm -hmm. And who goes first? There is something in the water oh, with you. Shoot. I need to... Write these down. Yeah, man. Let's see. I got a natural 20, so it was like 20. Nice. 21. Mm. What did everyone else get? I got a 12. The things go on a 6. Things? Oh, that's Abner. Where did Abner go? Oh, he's going to go on a 9. Uh, let's see. What did Brian get? Nine, nine. 8. 8. Temujin's 11. Okay, so I'm first to act. Okay, Do some I things see in the water. Uh, I see kind of like darker shapes. So darker, shadowy shapes moving through the water around you guys. And where they pass, it's cold. <coughs> but I don't see anything like actively. Uh, 
I mean, the target. You can see cold, dark tendrils that are painful to the touch when they. But it's like shadows in the water. Okay, I will bring out my. Uh, do this uh, in my hand, one of my cannons. I'll do the protector one. Okay. And bonus action, everyone gets. Five Within temporary hits. Ten hits. feet of you. Yep. Yeah. So you guys are cool. Everybody gets what? Uh, five temporary hit points. Sweet. How many? Um. Did I get five. a short rest? Got a time rest overnight. Oh, and the time. Since well, I had. Up. You, well, he was gone. <laughs> yeah, I I lost nine points because I jumped. Yeah, we had a short rest. All this guy. Can I roll sure. those dice? Sure. Okay. And that's my turn. Next is Tamar. Are we in just a underwater corridor trapped on both sides now? Is there any room at the top to breathe? No. The corridor goes into the water. <coughs> you may not see me right now, Brian, but I'm eyeing you angrily. Very <laughs> close. Uh, Might just take your head and... out. <laughs> what is I'm all the way What am I seeing? I don't get well, it. It's just like, uh, it's almost like, like <sighs> thick living tendrils of shadow that are in the corridor. They start whipping and moving about. Uh, they start to pass you, and as they pass over you, it's extremely cold, like uncomfortably cold. Like it will be painful in a moment. I rage. Okay, so you're like, blah. Wait, but, does that, but that doesn't af- that doesn't affect my, like, that doesn't take. No, it's, you're not going to actually let all your air out. No, but like that only like takes half damage from like bludgeoning and piercing and slashing, slashing. Not, probably not. Not cold, probably. I just want to double move. Okay, rage actually. does add to your damage though. A plus three or something? Yeah, I guess. Plus two? I guess I'll... I don't want to waste it, though. I mean, you have four of them, I think. Three. I three. Get to the three. Three. Yeah, I rage and I start swimming fast. So, blah. Oh, oh, you rage swim. Where is this corridor? Rage swim. It's, I don't know, 50 feet. It's not very far along. It's pretty small. He's at the other end of it now. Does the rope pull up. top? Uh, yeah, 50 feet of rope. Well, no, I wasn't trying to shore up. I was trying to shore it up a little. Oh, well then, yes. it's gonna. He's not going to go that far then. He's or, only going to go 10 I mean, feet. I'll let it take slack, or if it pulls me through the yeah, water because I'm a lot lighter. I mean, it's going to, it's not, you can't pull all three of the people behind him. Oh, it's just me. I yeah, didn't it's give just him. Oh, you didn't give him the rope? No. All right. It's for me because I don't swim. Yoink. <laughs> yeah, well then, you will go a little bit. He doesn't go very far. <laughs> oh, God damn it. And it pulls you too. <laughs> Thanks. Because he's now, he's moving two people, so... He moves like not very far. <sighs> Great. Thanks, Yep. Man. You move 10 feet or so and pull them with you. And I double moved, so I'm not going to hold any of my actions, I guess. Well, because. Uh, yeah. Because double move would have brought you. What's your movement? 40? Yeah. You would have gone 40. Instead, you went you went 20. So because you're like there. Swimming. Yeah, because <laughs> swimming is half. And then you cut it in half, too, for hauling two people. So you go 20. After him is Temujin. How far am I from the little glowy light? Uh, probably another 20 feet. Um, and how far? What's your, the, how far can I swim? That's it. You can swim half your 15. speed. God damn it. Uh, for you, it would be 12. Ten. Yeah, 12. <laughs> right. 12 and a half. Uh, so you can double move to get there. It's not going to change anything. Okay. Um, I, I will uh, make sure my feet are square on his shoulders so that when he brings us in, I'll be able to reach out and do the code. Okay. All right, do you want to hold your action? Yes. So, like, when you get within reach of the door, if he does that? Yeah, well, kind of a conditional. So, 
either that or if it's coming up around, if we go like five seconds or so, I will just push myself off and start swimming toward it. So either if he goes or, or if, if he's not going, comes. if it starts coming, I'm going to just get a head start on moving. Uh, I think you can sit one trigger, but you can just wait till your next round if he doesn't go and you can go, right? I mean, yeah, but that's it. Okay. <coughs> go, Horsey. <laughs> okay. Go faster. Who's next? Uh, then it is Abdur. Okay. Um, he will say a word and light his sword. You guys can hear the squealy whatever. And he will push you ten. Hmm. Can we hear <laughs> underwater? Yeah, you can hear underwater. You ever hit a metal pole underwater? Ding, ding. You can hear things. We can hear the squealing. You can hear the squealing and you can see the light because his sword still lights on fire. It's just like there's bubbles coming up from the fire as the sword converts the water to hydrogen and oxygen. Do it faster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I a big breathe in his sword. <laughs> oh my god. But it does light up. Okay. Is that his turn? Yep, he pushes you ahead. And then <laughs> turns around. To fight the darkness. Uh, then it is monster. Alrighty. I hope it's a water element. Oh, sorry. Elio, then monster. Oh, Elio. Oh, Elio sorry. pushes this fat guy ahead. <laughs> Maybe. Um, okay. Roll. What? It's him and him. It's two people, and he's huge. Yeah, he's like 20 pounds. Roll some athletics. I'm like 100 pounds. It's poorly. 100 pounds? No, he's not. 99 pounds, I think. That's what it said. That's what it said. There's no way. Gnomes are... Ah, Two. Okay, you don't push anybody. I keep treading. Fake. All right. Yeah, that is nonsense. Oh, perfect. Ever take eight cold damage? I don't take half, do, do I? No. But yeah, at you least know. you keep raising. Three foot nine and 99 pounds. Are you serious? Dude, you're like round. You're Low like a brick you're like a, house. You're like a globe. <laughs> <laughs> like as you tall look like you're down octopus. as you are standing up. <laughs> so take eight. Cold damage. Yep. So the tentacles swirl in the water, and uh, you can see frost starting to line the hallway that you guys are in and it becomes excessively cold as the tentacles sort of move about and froth in the water. You could strike at them if you want to. As they start to freeze the water in the passageway, they become more solid. Hmm. Then it is me. Do something. How far do we have to go until the end? Use the little micro feet. Guys, no, 20 more feet. 20 more feet. Yeah. Bonus action, I'll give everyone... Within 10 feet? Within 10 feet. So that everyone is Elio and Abder. That's fine. Okay. Uh, They get 10 temporary hit points. Okay. Sweet. That's nice for me, because Cold and I don't agree. (laughs) No kidding, huh? Uh, let's see, and then I will. Do you still have your ram? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. oh <laughs> that will never leave my side. <laughs> I have permanently lost an attunement <laughs> slot. <laughs> nice. Which ring is this? Cold resistance. Mm. Ah, because I'm vulnerable to cold. Mm. I'm gonna cast. I'll try a shatter. Okay. On the uh. What? Ice slash dark tentacles. Dark tentacle things. Does it shatter everything within ten feet of you? Uh, it's a ten foot Whatever radius of, and a point that I choose within sixty feet. So, so I'm you're gonna, gonna pick... hit somebody. So there is there an origin point for the tentacles? Can I do that or well, they're just writhing throughout the whole thing? You could try to hit close to the door, uh, but yeah, there's no place you're gonna go where you're gonna. Not nah, hit somebody. Oh, well, then I won't do that. I thought there was like an origin Just for him. Get Abner. He's fine. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Set around Abner's asshole. 
At the end of the day, once we've slain all the monsters, there's still one monster left. Oh, that's sad. So, <laughs> so if they're like right around me, I can just melee swing at them? Sure. Okay. I will use my staff and swing... With disadvantage, because you're underwater. And swing for Yep. Let's see. That is 11 for the first hit. Nope. Uh, that is a 23 for the second hit. That hits. And it is a d8 plus... Then wasted natural 20? Yeah, it was. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. That's okay. I rolled a 1 for damage anyway. So nice. You love those. Uh, 6 damage. You rolled a 1 and you got 6 damage? Yep. That's awesome. I have a plus 3 strength and it's a plus 2 weapon. Sweet. You swing your shaft through one of the shadowy tentacles. Your staff's a plus two weapon. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. And I will move closer to the door. You want to push all of us? Fifteen. <laughs> Fifteen. You it's can't. You have people on the way. Okay. Uh, you cannot push all of them. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, probably not. Uh, I don't have to breathe. Is Tamat. Oh, what are you doing waiting so long? A double move. <laughs> Hurry okay, up. Okay, you get to the doorway. Can you pull me along? Uh, yeah, I'll pull you Sweet. along. Thanks. I can can do a thing? Leech. Yeah, you can do it. Zoom 5, 6, 7, 5, 3, 9, 10. Okay. Uh, you Come guys on. see the doorway okay. open like liquid rippling away oh, from please. a central source until there's a doorway and water rushes through. Pulling us all in. Pulling you all in. Oh, good. <laughs> All right, everybody, give me a dexterity check as you flow into the room. You're raging, so you have advantage. I have advantage. Yep. Thank you for reminding me. Of that. Well. I did it. Natural twenty. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Acrobatics. Looks like a god surfing on Tamat's uh, back. Sure. <laughs> no? no. Is this well, athletics? Uh, no. This is you trying to stand your feet and not go over a railing. Straight decks. Mm-hmm. Or you can use acrobatics. I think you have advantage on dexterity saves. I do. If you can see it. I do. You rolled like crap. Yeah. 10. Okay. All right. So you guys, the water goes gushing in uh, to a large chamber. And there's like a railing around the side. Mm -hmm. Um, There's a catwalk. And then there's open space. And as you guys, as the water pushes you in, uh, you or can either fetch up against the railing or go over. So is that a choice? No, this is what you roll. Oh, <laughs> natural twenty. Yep. Uh, Sixteen. So I surf on your Ten. body and then twelve. Okay, so you guys are going to go over. Hey, at least we're holding onto a rope together. Woo! Mm. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's probably what rope. caused it. Oh, go. Abner saves. <laughs> okay. So. So I, I jump off of them as they're going It's over. awesome that you guys are tied together. So what happens is uh, you guys fetch up against the railing. You can stand your feet, mm-hmm. right? You don't even go prone. Uh, you'll fetch up against the railing. So, Abder, you guys are going to go through the arms of the railing, but the rope is going to catch you midway. So you're it's wrapped around you, and you're, what, hanging on or tied off? No, I wasn't tied off. Neither of you guys are tied off? Oh, I All thought right. you were. Well, I had it around He my... wrapped it around his hand. Yeah. Right, so it'd be I easier for on. you. All right, so you guys are going to roll me a strength check. <laughs> <laughs> What's going to suck is for you fail, which means he's, he's going to lose. Yeah. Yeah. That's, my rage. That's not how it works when you're not Do I still have my rage? Do you still have your rage? Uh, he was hurt God. last time. You so. were hurt last time, so yeah. What's that? Natural 20. Nice. Because I need it. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah, we're going to do 24. it. 24. Nice. So you guys both go flying through. Uh, the rope is going to catch, and it's going to hold you, and you're each going to take four damage as your arm is wrenched in its socket viciously. Uh, I spend my time wrapping myself around it now. And you can't, you're hanging out, you're just but, holding it, right? Well, can I take the loose end that's dangling and wrap that around what me? What loose end? I'm at the other end, dude. No, there's a large amount I'm of rope. I'm holding on to it. That is not counted for. Oh, okay. If I failed that check, I'd just be gone because I wasn't wrapped around it. You're both going to be gone because you're the other end of the rope. <laughs> yeah. No, like I would have just to. let go. 
when yeah. you wrench yourself yeah. so here's hard. The thing, right? You guys are each in the dead end. Bam! You let go. He falls because the rope goes up and through the railing. Someone else might have a chance to catch him. Someone else might have a chance to catch him. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Can I try pulling him up? You can grab the rope and try pulling him up. I'm just mm-hmm. yelling like shit. Does them. the door close and the water stop or are we stuck yeah, in Niagara? No, the door closes and the water stops. Okay. Woo! Hey! Hold on just a second, guys. I'm just yelling. Axe will like, get you up. <laughs> Yeah, because you're hanging over a drop. Yeah. What's that? Can I there? even see the bottom? No. No. 60 feet down is all you can see. It's all the way dark in here. Pull too. me up. Please. Yep. I'm trying. Roll athletics. Yeah, go ahead. Abdur will help you still have advantage. Oh. oh Abdur, you're useless. <laughs> <laughs> Just let the metal man do his work. Really? <laughs> yeah. I rolled a 14 and a 13, which I have plus 6 on. So, yeah, 20. Okay, so you can help one of them up. I was planning on pulling on the middle of the rope. Is that not how that works? Pull both of them up? Yeah. I mean, I'd be pulling them both up anyway, I think. Because if I try to pull on one end, it's just going to subtract from you're one gonna, and add the other. Did we do this, down. like, loop through? Bam. Yeah. <laughs> did <laughs> no, we clap? No, you guys didn't clap. I mean, but you're, like, hanging less than three feet away from him. So I'm looking at you, I'm like, this is not good. And he's, like, just hanging on to this rope. No, I'm doing this. I'm, like, Which grabbing one? the loose part and, like, <laughs> wrapping it around my wrist. Oh, the loose part. Okay. I, I will say I am 300 pounds, so weight-wise, I probably equal both of them. Mm, I don't yeah. think so. Okay, I'm pretty oh. heavy. Close. Yeah, I'm massive. close to 300. Right. Okay. So, so me and Abder can, together. Okay, so you guys can pull them simultaneously. You can pick one. It's easier if you pick one. If you pull them both, there could be complications. Well, if you, you pull one up, the other one goes further down. That's true. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was saying. You, that's you true. Pick one way and slide. <laughs> We're on a bad scale here. I don't like this scale. You, or you can try to get both of them up. There could be complications. Just, but it'll just be harder. Pick, Alex, pick one. <laughs> well, he's going to be the harder one to get up, I think, because yeah. you, you can climb. Ahead. So get the elf. Well, that's an interesting theory. I mean, or you could say that if you, you get Tomat up, He'll be a third person to help pull on the rope. Are you having this conversation right now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pull me up. <laughs> I mean, my first thought was to pull him up because he was going to help. you. Okay, so you pull the elf up. All right. Thank God. My natural toy is not a waste. Uh, <laughs> um, Do you know which one's which? <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Let's see what the dice say. Odds. Sweet. Uh, <laughs> cool. So as you're pulling on the rope, one of the things you notice is that it's rubbing against the edge of the obsidian ledge. And as it rubs against the edge of the ledge, the edge is chewing the rope up horribly. Hmm. So you get him up. The rope has been significantly degraded at this point. It's all frayed and shitty from sliding past the lip of the edge. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> You're now I 20 said, feet down. Uh, I'm going to, I start casting mending on the rope. Nice. I'm going to try to. Okay. So you casting mending it takes a minute, on though. the rope. Okay, so don't move. Hold it for a minute. And I'm not sure. You're going to have to rule on whether it takes that a minute? work. Mm-hmm. I mean, athletics, athletics with advantage. I was going to say, I could just take the rope and hold it over the ledge and go like this with the railing. You can try. It'll make the DC definitely harder. You might just fall off doing that. Yeah. (laughs) Is there not something else we can do? I'm trying to think of anything. 13. Mm. Are you still raging? Yeah, you can hang on. He said I wasn't. You can't climb up. But you can keep where you're at. So I have advantage. Because it's not actually tied to you. To my heart! Throw me the horn! Are you going to hold him over and try to lift him <laughs> straight up? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to do that and You're have... just the uh, worst person. I'm taking this Abder with me. Basic, <laughs> to Valhalla. Have yeah. Abdur hold on to... Uh, yeah, help by holding on to me so I don't go over kind of thing. Okay, go ahead and roll it. Oh, I unwrapped myself from that rope, by the way. Okay, so 24. 24. All right, so you can pull him 10 feet up. So you're going to have to roll for every 10 feet. Is mm-hmm. the is the rope being affected by the mending? Does it look like it's 
Are we yeah. taking a We're full here. minute okay. to sit and wait? I'm not going to do what you're doing, but I'm, oh. I'm trying. Are you taking a full minute to sit and wait? No, I'm oh, trying to blow Never mind. mind. The rope's not been affected. Odds or evens? Uh, this worked well last time. <laughs> God. Evens. As I see him pulling okay, either uh, way. So, as you're pulling the rope up, mm -hmm. you can hear strands of it going, squirt, crack, squirt, and starting to unravel. And you don't actually move 10 feet all the way up. You only move 5 feet up because the rope is starting to let go as he's pulling you up. <coughs> so you're not waiting for he, the mending. Mm -mm. And the rope is starting to go. All right. What do I have? I got nothing. <laughs> how far away is the, uh, or how wide is the Circumference room. of the dome? Yeah. Are you tied off? The dome. So this is what you see. Yeah. You see a there's a walkway it's on a the outside. Mm -hmm. There's the railing. You look down, there's nothing. Dead but in the middle, there's another second building, a tower, if you will, that rises up past where you're at. It's 30 feet high. It rises 20 feet up. And so the dome is like, what, 60 feet from one spot side to the other? Okay, so 60 foot radius for uh, the room? Yeah, for the whole room, yeah. Does anyone else have any more rope? I'll throw down uh, some rope. Okay. But I don't know if that's going to help out. So in order to get your rope free and throw it down, you have to let go of the rope that you're holding. Well, is the uh, rope still holding on to anything? Have Abner do it. You're the only thing hold, only one holding helping. the rope. No, I mean on the other end. Is he still holding on to the rope? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. If it's, <laughs> if it's yes. still supporting weight, because it sounded like the rope snapped and he was dropping. No, it didn't snap all the way. Oh, it's letting okay. go. Okay. The integrity of the rope is failing. But did you say yes when I asked if you have rope? Yes. I will grab his rope. Okay. I'll okay. dig in his pack if I have to. Okay. <coughs> and this railing is not pretty sturdy, I could find out from experience, because we crashed right through it, right? You didn't go, you went, there's slots. Between it. Yeah, there's slots, oh. right? It's a railing and there's supports, and you guys went through. So These guys grabbed something. I'll throw one end around these supports. Mm hmm and tie it off and throw the other end down to Tamat just in case. Okay. I'll smack him in the face. You're going to switch ropes? <laughs> yeah, you eat rope. Uh, I, I grabbed the other rope with my other hand. Okay. So I got bad arm, good arm, and I'm wrapping it up. Okay. I stay silent, though. That's the first. Yeah. <laughs> we should leave you like this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Tamat, did you get it? I got the rope. Are, you... Are we Everyone's ready? To... You hear a weird echo when you say it. it echoes in the open space. I cannot pull up this rope. You can't? Not, Are you tied? Not him. Are we... Uh... Switching ropes? Can we all hold the ropes together? Uh, where did it start to edge. strip the rope? Like, how far down is it still? Mm, it's down past the level of the platform you guys are on. It's from the platform this? down. Uh, how much more space of bad rope do I have before it becomes good rope again? Because uh, they were dangling like this. We pulled up him, which means the second half of the rope would be only ones that would, could be affected, right? No, everything south of him was affected because as you pulled him up, it ran through. So all of the rope. Uh, all of the rope is bad? Except for like the last five feet. What oh, kind okay. of uh, shape are these supports? Are they square or circle? Square. Okay. That's where the sharp edges are coming from. On the columns that are holding up the railing? How about mm -hmm. the top of the railing? It's all squared off. All squared off. These guys really need new architecture. Mm -hmm. Everything's sharp. Mm -hmm. So pulling up with the good rope, I guess. Okay. We're switching ropes. All right, guys. Maybe if mm -hmm. you grab it below the ledge. Roll. Advantage still. Abner's still helping. I'll try holding on to one of these guys. It's not going to help much. Uh, that is a 12. Okay, a 12 is not sufficient to pull him up. Okay. So you're trying to pull him up. You're not getting much of anywhere. Are you pulling on both ropes? So you let go of the other rope. Yeah, we would have had rope. Okay. The bad rope slithers past you into the darkness. No! Oh, what is going on up there? <laughs> and then your rope doesn't go anywhere because you're trying to lean out. We're 
We switched ropes because it was starting to break. Are you still leaning out from the edge so you don't pull it across a sharp edge? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So you couldn't get him to go anywhere, but it wasn't sufficient to pull you over. Okay. Yeah, don't go over. It's over if you go over. Trying again? Uh, uh, Actually, can I cast a spell while I'm holding onto the rope? Depends on what kind of spell it is and what its components are. If it's Let's somatic, see. you need your hands. hands. Let's see. It is verbal, somatic, and... What spell? Uh, enlarge, reduce. No, you don't want to do that. You can let go of the rope. Don't let go of the rope. No. I'm not How far down is he? It's like 15 feet down. Oh, shit. Okay. okay, so I am a huge uh, gap for me. You guys are killing me over here. <laughs> we're, we're trying, we're trying to try <laughs> pulling him up again. Not trying literally to, yet. Right. Yeah, literally. Not killing yet. Him over here. We're helping you. We're uh, saving. That you. is twenty-two. Okay, so you can pull him ten feet up. Okay, he's now five, five feet, feet down. Yep. Um, shit. I'm just trying to help anyway. Spider, maybe? You're taking the slack in. I'm considering it, but I don't know what I'll be able to do. So, one more time then? Sure, go ahead. Uh, that is a 21. Okay, you pull him over. Okay. Oh, oh you made it. Oh. Good man. Oh. What was in that water back there? The water? That's the same thing that's in the water outside. And so what do I see? So I'm up on this ledge. Mm -hmm. What's to my left and what's to my right? So the ledge kind of continues around, right? In this massive sort of circle around the outside of the dome. Inside of the dome, uh, on the other side of that railing, is a drop. God knows how long. There is... What looks like a tower in the middle. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I yeah. just got the visual. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's it's yay comes big. Up. <laughs> up oh my god, Josh. In. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> We're in a giant dildo. <laughs> inside a giant dildo. You guys were like inside the condom. <laughs> yeah. there's, a, there's a big dome condom around this big phallus shaped thing. Just like the last one. Okay. Okay. Oh, fuck. All right. Oh. Now, in the last one, I don't know, <coughs> it might have been what the rest of the eyes were building, but there was a small bridge that gets us over to that middle column. That's where the goodies are. That is a long way down, and I don't know if there's, if there's, if we go, go around the edge, it would probably spiral all the way down. Unless it's not quite constructed the same way. Uh, but that across there is where we're hoping to go. But is see there anything in the middle that he's pointing at? Or it's just yeah. a big open space. That's the that's the big old donger and the inside. The tower. Yeah. Right now we're inside the sheath. Are you pointing downward? No. Right right across. <laughs> you can't see that far, can you, in the dark? We need light. You were saying in the middle of this tower? Yes. We're on the inside of a dome. The circle. This goes all the way around. It's like our uh, catwalk. The tower's there. This is an open space, and then there's a catwalk that goes across the top of no, it. Right? There goes, is no, there's a catwalk. It goes around the it edge. Around oh, the it edge. goes around the edge. Yeah. Okay. How do and we you get fell across? Well. And you fell in between the two structures. Yeah. Okay. But we can't see a middle structure from here. Can you see a middle structure with light? Can, can they see, see what? Can we, can they see the thing in the middle? Yeah, it's not. Oh, it's right. not I thought we like, were looking at a black void. The black void is down. We yeah. don't know how deep it is. Right. It go. It's pretty deep. Yeah, you so, watched a dwarf turn into smush. Yeah. How and far away? Well, <laughs> well, we stopped looking before he turned into smush. <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh no, smush. So how far is the thing in the center, and is it? Uh, like, is this the top of it and we're here, or is it like the other way around? Uh, it rises up past you. Oh, okay. Right? So you're here. The top is like 15 feet up. So like 20 feet to get to it, or? Uh, maybe more like, yeah, about probably, because what? This thing is huge. 60 feet across. 
maybe 25 feet to get to it. It wasn't really big on the outside. Hmm. Then we start walking this railing. You know, I start walking to the right. Okay. I don't think there's any reason not to use some light. Pull out your old torch. So I grab my torch and I pull it out. Okay. But and it, it just that goes all the way that, around. That doesn't give me that much light, does yeah, it? Yeah, that's 30. Mr. Tomato. Or the 24. You, you don't it's 30, seem, 60. Like a torch. You seem disturbed. I almost fell. Yeah. 2040. 2040. We right. go now. We are going. That's why we're here. Does it just go all the way around or does it uh it just goes all the way around? Through? No, it just goes all the way around. So one big circle. Yeah. And after this Temujin, you have some explaining to do. I tried. So you, you couldn't understand. Hear, as you guys make one complete circuit and you're talking about it and stuff, you hear this noise that sounds like Someone was murdering an elephant and grinding <laughs> stones together. Uh, you can understand it. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is that? It's deep speech. Mm. And uh, you hear a voice say to you, so you made it here. Is it have a similar speech pattern to Yule? Yeah, it, it's Yule. Okay. It's obviously Yule. I told you I would. Do you want some help? Again, that horrible voice. And it, <laughs> are you responding in deep speech? Um, at first, I am not. Okay. Well, he doesn't respond to you unless you respond to him in deep speech. Okay. Is this what we were talking in last time? <laughs> I didn't even notice. No, last time I was borrowing some room inside your head, but it didn't seem like it agreed with you very much. Are you talking out loud? Yeah, and he's like, just looking at you weird. <laughs> like, so do you need some help? Uh, I could is, welcome you to my crypt. Is there no bridge across? I could make one easily. But if I'm going to help you, I need you to help me. What is Are going on, Timujin? With my boy, yeah. I stop. <laughs> um, what what sort of trade do you have in mind? I need to wake up. Do you think I'm capable of this? Yes. Am I getting any sort of mind space inkling from Oz? <laughs> any hesitancy or I mean, encouragement? Is he just being passive? So you're going to attempt to talk to Oz a little bit? I mean, I remember this went real well last time. Yeah, Oz just didn't show up last time. Yeah, he was like, mm, nope, <laughs> I don't show up when my family's around. <laughs> yeah. Big brother, leave me. Yeah, he specifically talked about how, like, he can't really show up when they're around. One at a time. Some of their weaknesses. Well, didn't he tell you about how he wasn't, like, the most powerful one? Mm-hmm. But he would have to be the least powerful if he doesn't show up every time. I mean, he might be. Temujin, <coughs> what is going on? You don't hear it. I... <laughs> you're, just, <laughs> you're just copying the noises. No, it's, a, it's it's trying to figure out a way across, like a password almost. What are you, what are you make talking it a, about? Make it a bridge. This is not... Look! This is not time for no. games. You, you, you calm the fuck down. All right? I didn't intervene when you were doing your pig Latin with the fucking giant cabbage patch kids, all right? I just told because you, what you speak they were saying, stupid. Temujin. I'm No, you didn't not until well afterward and we had to go fucking fight him. 
I look at I looked at these two. You remember when we were going to have a conversation and then you started fighting them right away? What are you talking? Why are you even talking about this? Because it's the same fucking thing. It's you speak a couple Wait. languages. I speak a couple languages. I'm trying to get us out of something. You were trying to get us into something. Let's see if I can save our lives before you have to deal with all the damage. Who are you talking to? The the caper of the place. It doesn't make. I don't. What's is there a Ms. Yuckenberg? Is there a better name? A full name? They they want to know what's going on. You can call me Yule. It's easier that way. He says his name is Yule. And who is he? I'm the Lord of Dreams. Where is he? The keeper of lost things. Well, I'm assuming we don't understand that. No, you just hear like horrible noises and shit. <laughs> Wait, do you understand them? It's like grinding yeah. gears in my head. You didn't know. The keeper of lost things. The dreamer. The one that I tried to tell you about before, but you couldn't keep up. What else would you like to know? What is address? What is deep speed? Can I tell like someone's talking? Because I guess like I'm just like I'm just hearing noises at this point. Well, like fucking horrible noises. Yeah, Yeah. but he's making them back. Yeah, like noises Mm -hmm. that shouldn't be able to come out of vocal cords and stuff like that. Right. Just like okay, okay, yeah. (laughs) Something. (laughs) Something. Uh, do you have any more questions? <laughs> the uh, tower thing on the other end, does it look like it is... Uh, does it have any walkways over there or no? What do you mean tower thing on the other end? Uh, the thing in the center yeah. that we're trying to get the to. Core. Does it have any, like, if you were to lay something down? Oh, does it like there? crenellations or anything like that? Yeah. Are there, uh, I mean, there is... Yeah, there's features on the surface, mm-hmm. right? And it's not made of the obsidian stuff. And so you could throw something across onto one of the features, one of the, like, boxes or knobs or something, uh, and then climb from there to the top. And around the top, there's a lip. How far is the center dome of the tower from... The, is there a lot feet? of... Is there a big gap? There's 10 feet of clearance at the top. All right. Are we trying to get into the center? Oh, man. All right, so we're starting back at square fucking one. Yes. And we are going to do it by talking to this thing? It, It is providing a possibility. If you wake me, I can dream you things. All the things I could dream. And what is this thing? It's like making my ears hurt. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it's a god. You have gods where you come from. The gods are not trapped in this city. Uh, oh, well, you have uh, the- strange gods that don't really... You know, they can't really get their hands into things. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. I'm fucking ass it all up. Uh, <laughs> well, I reckon you have a different sort of god that... Uh, oh, it's Abner talking. Yeah, it's Abner. Yeah, yeah, it's like, uh, why is <laughs> like you talking? <laughs> like, like a young god that really, you know, they have a hard time getting into stuff. But these are the older gods, our gods. Wait, hey, you know, you know about these guys. I mean, uh, I know a little bit about a little bit. What's he talking about, Abner? I know mostly about Ur. Er, 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 the the hunger, er. Yeah. The er. eater, the devourer. Er. Yeah, <laughs> er, the devourer. Er. <laughs> ah, that's a good joke. There's well, a little I bit of levity in the middle of this. I don't know if he'd be laughing about it. But no, the older gods, they existed before the time. The ones that actually made the place. Well, oh, made the place? They used to live here. That's what I'm talking about. And your gods can't muck things up. A true I just want to get to the artifacts and get out. You know, we might be able to find something in here that can help your little princeling. 
So this What's is why we're going the to the library. He's, he's been a sleeper. Is this really the time? That's... Maybe this is the time. What do you got to do? Get you to are going to wait out. outside for another 24 fucking hours. Now, are wait, you, now. now you're in such a big rush. If there's a guide here, are you sure you really want to go in there? No. I don't think that's the best idea. We certainly don't want to wake him up. What now? We don't want to wake him up. They, they don't sleep. Uh, when they're... <coughs> they have, like, meat puppets. They only exist... They're mostly not here. They're there, but they can come into our world. It's like putting a finger in a balloon. And I know this and you think you are trying to explain <laughs> yeah, things. He's really confused. Not to he's to like, explain. what the See, fuck? they're not even... Their corporeal form, their stuff, bah, bah, bah. that part can die, just like anything else. And that's kind of the... It's just the... It's the piece of the iceberg coming out into the air. Most of them is not visible, but the little piece is what sticks through into our world. You follow. You know what an iceberg is? No. If <laughs> from the <laughs> desert. <laughs> yeah, he has no idea. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> no, as we no. Okay. So can we just get to the center? Without talking to the gods. Yeah. I think so. All right. Um, so I, I pull out some of my hemp and rope. <laughs> 50 feet of it. And I hand it to... Edner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who do you trust right now? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're being a bit touchy. He takes it. And I put the other bit in, um, in my mouth. And I wink at him with one eye, and then I have 400 eyes. <laughs> spider. Change a spider. And I climb up and over, and I drop the 10 feet. Okay. Take five points of damage. <laughs> Stupid fuck. <thing. laughs> Spiders take damage when they fall, poor guys. 10 feet, just like everybody else. Man. So you have to roll a con check now? Man, I've dropped spiders no. from the ceiling. They don't seem to take any damage. <laughs> this one's big as a I'm horse. Just yeah, it's the size of a small Shetland pony. <laughs> like, um, you guys hear it slap. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I say as I shift back. <laughs> okay. Well, it just right. did damage to your spider form. I know. I'm fine. Thanks for caring. So you find something to tie it off to? Uh, here's open, I do. While Temujin's up there, I go to the guys... I don't think Temujin is well. I do not care anymore. He was... He's talking to imaginary friends all of a sudden. This imaginary? You can't hear him? <laughs> I don't think you can hear me. I'm whispering. It's We're in a big fucking stone dome. Everything echoes. Does he hear me? I mean, if you are whispering distinctly to keep him from hearing you, then no. If you're just talking, then yeah. Yeah, I was, I was talking under my breath. It's paper Ear hustling. The shit out of yeah. stuff. All right. How'd you got that side tied off? Yup. <laughs> All right, <laughs> then dust. climb on over. <laughs> Is it tied off to a sharp uh. thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Abner, uh, he takes, like, his blanket and wraps it around the railing and ties it off over that, and he's like... Go. Might give us a bit more insulation, but I don't think it'll last forever. So who's going first? It's <laughs> a good idea. Take my um, my bedroll and wrap it around first. Whatever. Okay. I mean, you just found like a protrusion to tie it off to. Okay. Because your end's sure. not the obsidian stuff. It's okay. kind of the metal. It's... And we're just good. I, yeah. I do not climb very well, but maybe I will try to... Skip it across. Run it through. What? What, now? what are you doing? No, you're, you're, you're just looping through your belt or something. <laughs> yeah, he's like. <laughs> if you're not good at climbing, so you do it the extra hard way. 
<laughs> You're gonna try to tight rope walk up. Let's see, negative one or plus seven. <laughs> yeah, but you're doing it like this. I mean, it will be a high difficulty. Even a low difficulty with my strength won't work. There's other ways to do this, but that's fine. You can go ahead. I do not think many of us will make it across. He weighs like 600 pounds. So do you? 300. Well, Avatar's like, guess I'm going first. <laughs> he goes up the oh, rope no. and starts climbing across. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Abner. Come on, you got this. Yeah, no problem. He just goes and puts his hands on it and then wraps his feet around it and then scoot, 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 scoot up the rope and climbs up to the top of the tower. And he's like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> is, this a, is this athletics? <laughs> is this athletics? Yeah, athletics. Come on, All bro. right. <laughs> This is our whole campaign right here. We're we're riding the tightrope for no apparent reason. <laughs> what do you what did you roll? Nineteen. You're good. He does well. Yeah. Come on, man. I look at the metal man. You got any pulleys or something? Metal you can man. attempt to run up it if you want to. I'm watching him. <laughs> what you want me to go do? first? I'm You're just gonna, gonna wait out here. I will no, that go. doesn't work well for the guys that wait out here. Last time they disappeared. It is possible. Well, I'll have you pull me up. I'm trying to encourage him to come along, not to fall down the hole. Come yeah, on. I don't reckon if you fall, it's going to be very good for you. No, what's your athletics at? I mean, it's a plus six. Oh, you're good so. to go. I should be fine, but as long as I don't roll a one. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> Did you roll one? No. He's great. Uh, 17 plus six, 23. Oh, yeah, you're good. He's I untie all, like the wheel bearings and stuff. You're like, I untie the rope up. and I tie it around me. <laughs> Wait, you do what now? I untie the rope and I tie it around me. So we don't have okay. a way back? Uh, you're No, put it back, you <laughs> dumb fuck. <laughs> First, here's, here's the reasons why. <laughs> I can't believe you're this stupid that I have to explain it. All right, number one, we're going to have to get la, back. La, 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 I jump. Number two, oh, oh, no. shit. you're gonna oh, swing man. like a pendulum into the building. <laughs> you're gonna so take you so away. much fucking damage. Okay, cut the rope. Eat shit He's dead. to the side of the metal tube. Uh, ten damage. Oh, yeah. that's my temp hit points. <laughs> Splaff. You don't have ten temporary hit points from, from my turret. It gave him ten. Yeah. He rolled really I good. rolled seven out of eight, and I have a plus three to it, so nice. ten temporary. All right. I'm like a force field of meat. So, burf. <laughs> my so head my smacks it, I dent the metal. <laughs> <laughs> so, Abner looks at you guys, he's like, should I pull him up? I'll help him. All right. I walk away from the <laughs> edge. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not capable of, you know, if you oh, no. can't say nothing nice, you don't say anything at all. That's such bullshit. I guess technically they're making them helping, or... That's uh, the biggest lie I've heard all day. like, okay, he walks away. <laughs> yeah. I'll help. Well, you were like, I'll do it. I'll oh. help him, is what you said. Do you mean you'll help Abder? Uh, well, that's what I originally was going to say, oh, okay. but... Then I'll give him advantage. Here, okay. I'll, I'll climb as well. Yeah, he's good. He just pulls you up. You don't okay. climb. I'm looking for the little floaty red lights. Okay, so you walk around, they come to the floor. I just wait for them to come. Yep. And now what? Are you guys all here? Yeah. All right. You especially take special note of the this pattern. The best part is there's no way back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to fucking improvise. Is this what we are already doing? Uh, yeah, but we weren't improvising uphill blind in a fucking thunderstorm before. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, we are. <laughs> no, it was a fucking easy in and out. You say you are talking to the gods. Here we go. This this is the one, ten digit code. Think you got Could that? I remember that by? Okay. I mean, you can replay it, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I could. So, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the door flows open. <laughs> Do I feel noise? like a blast cold. of cold air or anything inside? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's super cold. It, like, breathes out past you. And there's a super long hallway, which is weird. 
because if you look around, the thing is only 10 feet, right, from side to side. But the hallway that you see on the other side of this door extends farther than you can see. Do we go in? That's what we came here for. It's like an evil TARDIS. Especially since uh, our way back is now more complicated than going in. He will just now, lose this thing again. I want you to try to focus on something. If it's set up the same way, all we really need is some of the special ridiculous artifacts that are in these first areas. We don't need to go deep in. And if anything talks to you, we're not trying to wake anything up. And I step in. Okay, so we're going to continue here next week, probably. Oh, come on! It's quarter after 11. Oh, come on! <laughs> you guys, sorry, you took all day getting here. Okay, fine. Make me a wisdom save. Uh, Wait, 24. Does he get an advantage? Yeah, yeah he did. Nice. You guys don't, though. As you walk in, everybody else is going to have to make a wisdom save. Sorry, right, we got this, guys. I know someone doesn't. <laughs> the one who, who uh, already has some respect for the old gods. <coughs> I got a 17. Oh, wait. 16. One in a 10. Minus one. <laughs> one in a 10, so a not botch. Not botch. <laughs> so you guys Two non botches. Well. <laughs> okay. Two non botches, two successes, and another fail. Okay. So, forty so percent. Uh, yeah, you guys feel drawn to the middle of the structure, and you're going to walk down the hallway with Abner. We're guys, we're going to be just Here's all your hey, uh, muscle. Yeah, hey, what the do three you... of them just walk away, <laughs> guys, <laughs> down the hallway, guys. What are we doing? You're, you're feeling drawn down, down the hallway. Or you're going we, to, like doing you, anything else? You don't need to go that far. Look, I mean, you're you looking can, at anything. You else? can talk, but your responses are vague and weird and we spaced are out. We're supposed to go this way. Or you're just like, I want to go this way, or what's down this way? I believe guys, the facts. So guys, what are you? you can't, look, no, over here. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, they just. I don't All turn right. around. Um, I jog up to his, to him, and I bean him with uh, my staff. Do damage. Yeah. Okay. Roll it. Roll the hit and roll the damage. Um, to hit. I don't even know how. How do you hit? Was that Dex? Yeah, Dex. Was so a staff strength. There's no. It's not a. No, probably just a strength. It's not a finesse weapon. No. So you can always strength. bite with your acid bite. We'll see. This first one hits first. <laughs> okay. Um. So minus one, plus three because I am proficient. So plus two. Good God. <laughs> You don't hit him. Was that your die? <laughs> Did you? It, it, it was like bada up, bada up, and it came around this way. Doesn't hit, so you miss him. <laughs> um, nice. Yeah, so I'm gonna primal attack him plus eight natural twenty, of course. <laughs> Roll your damn. I hamstring him. <laughs> <laughs> so you, yeah, you just fuck him up horribly. Jesus Christ! It's a D ten. It's, I think it's more than that, because it's oh, as a warlock. I think it's, You're so uh, screwed. Action starts. <laughs> <laughs> Primal Sam. This is where Timogen dies. Uh, <laughs> at fifth level, it's 2d10. 2d10. Yeah. And then double the 2d10. What the fuck, dude? I tried to hit you with just a <laughs> little stick. You're like, Smith. Oh, well, fuck it. <laughs> is that 10? <laughs> oh, it's wow. a 9. I'll roll another one, because it's 2d10. So nine and ten, eleven, twelve. No, it's four d so ten. Well, you could just double. I would just double. I would oh, double it because I rolled a three, so it's probably going to be lower. So if I just hit you for twenty four, just <laughs> <laughs> twenty four acid damage. He just took a good bite out of your ass, dude. No, I, I claw that. you across the Achilles tendon. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Make a wisdom save. You can't throw. go. Who, you? Wake up! He's got. Well, he him. just like viciously fucked Oops. him up. Yeah, make a wisdom saving throw. That was not right. What was I just? When at? you take damage, you can save again. I believe I was already damaged a little, so let's just say. Do ten. 
Except for hit points were gone. That's what happened. Yeah. Well, no, I uh, did 12 healing instead. Oh, okay. Wait, 24? Yeah, he does 24 to you. All right. I didn't mean to crit. <laughs> Let me do this all over again. Fuck your life up. Let's just go back to the beginning. Yeah, you were. 24 damage. Yeah. And I believe I was hurt just a little bit. So <laughs> just the that sounds about damage. right. 24 out of 52. No well, less than half my health. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking monster. You can roll a little save again. 11. Okay, he's trying to stop you because he wants all the stuff inside, and this is where he obviously decided to betray you, so it's time for you to turn against him. I you have to defend am yourself. tired of your shit! <laughs> 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 a little um, actual Elio coming out of this one <laughs> as I turn around and just beam the fuck out with my sword. Come on, he's, we he's need to get out! <laughs> he's gonna kill you if you don't I'm stop I'm so him. mad. <laughs> So, kind of this so is what mad. You see. Uh, he runs up and he just rips a chunk out of this dude. And obviously, he's attempting to betray you guys. Now that he's led you into the home of the elder gods, he's going to feed you to them. That's what you think. Temujin? Yeah. Oh, you're sorry. Oh. You've been to the compromise. <laughs> this is not going to go well. <laughs> <laughs> Can I hit are, him? Are we rolling initiative at this yeah, point? Yeah, it's going. Uh, yeah, it's okay. going. <laughs> Tighten that buttercup. It's about to get real, man. Did you fail that too? Or did you succeed? No, he succeeded. I succeeded. He's on your side. Okay. And I'm like, no, they can't. They're gonna. They're in the trap. They're going in. Uh, but then... What'd you roll? Oh, for initiative? Yeah. <laughs> Can you botch initiative? Do I roll again? <laughs> guess we got a... Guess what we got, you guys roll? I got a 19. <laughs> I, yes, I, I have was a like, friend. Fuck. We're gonna kill Tony. I was sure that I would be able to what save you, and what? then you both turn on me and like, wait, no, that's not. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, no, you. Oh God! Abner keeps walking. <laughs> Sixteen. He's gonna slow walk in. <laughs> he just okay. doesn't even stop. Bye. Yeah, yeah. We don't need to wait a week for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just end it now. We I just know so. if we roll new characters next week. Yeah, no shit. Well, I know that I will. <laughs> I'm gonna be what I, I'm gonna be your brother robot. Yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the first one is uh, Tamar. Or a glowing oh, jellyfish. God, the first one is Tamar. <laughs> Rage and I'm frenzied. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> Jokes on you. You'll never be able to hit my AC. A oh, fourteen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I run up to Temujin. All right. What do you say? Yeah. No more lies. <laughs> <laughs> I vote for inspiration. <laughs> First one I hit with. Kill <laughs> yeah. And oh. the best thing is the only way I can stop them is to <laughs> kill everybody. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, sorry. you have to do the thing. Hmm. Every time they take damage, you can make a save. <laughs> yeah. So the first it's one's like literally the only thing I can do. <laughs> 24? If I survive yeah, long hits. enough to do anything. Oh! <coughs> Uh-oh. How much damage? Natural 20. <laughs> That's my second one. Okay. So roll your damage for your first one first. He might yeah. not make it through your second one. Yeah. At least first one. I wanted six. to do this, man. <laughs> <laughs> God, that's horrible. Sorry, man. I rolled uh, higher in the initiative. Yeah. No. It's so no good. No more lies. No more lies. <laughs> well, his first one, at least you didn't say you're great weapon mastering. Your first one was what? A normal hit. Oh. A normal hit is Okay, so well, uh, max, damage. max damage is 12 plus. Six. Uh, yep, six. So 18. 18. That's the first swing, 18. Good and then there's the crit. And then you double the dice on this one. Mm. Nice. Mm. Snake eyes. Snake eyes, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so less damage on the crit. Ten. ten damage. So 18 and then 10. That's nice. Hard. That's kind of hardcore, dude. So he just like. Just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> slug, slug. <laughs> like, bloods hit the wall and shit. I love PvP. Me too. This is the best thing I could have asked for. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, who's next? Uh, next is. Abdur. He's slow walking away. He's, he walks, he's, he's, he's walking through the doorway. No, he's just like, I have to go do this thing. Yeah. Uh, then it is me. Uh, you better do something quick. What are, where's Abdur's sword at? 
Uh, it's in his hand, but it's not lit. Actually, no, it's on his back. He doesn't care. He's just walking away. It's on his back. It's on his back. I'll cast heat metal on it. Okay, that Ooh. sucks. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I mean, I'm trying to get his attention. Yeah, sure. <laughs> he just takes damage. Yeah, yep. straight up. 2d8 fire damage. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he slow walks to death. Nope. So he stops. It's burning him. He grabs it and throws it on the ground and turns and looks at you. And he looks upset about things. I step out of the doorway. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Leave damage in there. <laughs> And he took nine damage. Oh, man, you're going to have three nine pissed off damage. bruisers nine in a fire second. Damage. Yeah, he's real pissed now. Well, that, that was maybe the bad, not a great thing to do. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that was exactly If you wanted to take helpful. away anyone's weapon, this guy's weapon needs to go away. I figure he's dealing with them. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> I am, <laughs> I guess. Technically. <laughs> wow. For one more round. Yeah. <laughs> For a moment, I've got uh, this. Oh, until, until right now. Uh, <laughs> uh, now it is... Uh, I still get a chance? Oh, yeah, God. now it's uh, Ryan's turn. Yeah, you got Action him. Action surge. Yeah, well, this guy's <laughs> Chop, 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 chop. You're lucky I only have a long sword. You're yeah, going to you're gonna do a yeah, D4 yeah, sword sword damage. Sword. Six, D6 D6 plus D6, four. Yeah. Well, so first, let's see what we got here. Oh, <laughs> if you miss, I laugh at you. With <laughs> 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 your big fat busted oh, lamp through his yeah. eye. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're fucking terrible. <laughs> your AC is more than twelve, right? Yeah. Yeah. Fourteen. Wow. Miss. Jesus Christ! Wow. Oh my God! This is the worst assassination <laughs> attempt I've ever seen. Then I stick it through his eye with a natural twenty. Oh. oh. <laughs> Action surge. I should probably yeah, not because you rolled missed, missed, and then you hit with the natural I have three 20. hits. You don't have three hits. I don't have three hits. You have the action surge. You have the third and fourth. So here's my fourth. Yep. I'm <laughs> used to my other weapon. Right. Crit hit. Wow. Wait, so two, crits? two crits. So he's no, missed, crit missed, and he's and like hit. crit and then hit. So okay. first the crit. Kill him. <laughs> Ooh, that's big. Fifteen. 15 damage. Mm -hmm. oh. Are you down yet? Yeah. You are? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Do I have to keep hitting him? I did my thing. You hit him. You rolled the hit before you... <laughs> yeah, Can I chase the robot? Him. He's a... He's, he's a 50 feet away, isn't he? Chase the robot. That's Is fine. he around? He's close I enough. stepped outside of the Oh, thing. you stepped outside of the thing? Yeah. You can't. The door closed behind you guys. Oh, it did? Yeah. Oh. <coughs> so he's trapped in here with us. Yeah. Oh, I'm standing by the keypad then. You're in the yeah. death okay. dome. So you can get to him. And hit him with my sure. last hit? Yeah, sure. Why not? Well, actually, would a 18 hit you? Uh, 18 is my new AC. So, yes. <laughs> Take seven. Do you have any reason to attack him? Yeah, he hurt Abder. He is burning Abder. He comes up on the enemy radar as soon as he starts to harm Abder. Mm. You could have stayed off the radar if you hadn't hurt anybody, but... That's right. That's right. That's right. New character time. Uh, yeah. You guys have given over to the void. <laughs> See, <laughs> Not my fault. <laughs> yeah. Elio... Yeah, it is your fault. <laughs> How's uh, it my fault? 11. Next is Temujin. Oh, you know what? How much... Roll your die, buddy. Come on, Temujin. Do something. Oh, you're dying. Kay. That's right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're dying. That's right. That's fucked up. I forgot. <sighs> okay, let's see here. <coughs> Next is oh, man. Uh, back at the top. Yep. Tamat. Oh, tomorrow. you know what to do. You were my friend. Kill him! <laughs> he killed your friend! Is it him? Is it him? With, I mean... No, um, he's, I, he's still up. And oh, okay. he's interfering with uh, your desire to get into the building. All right. He's with Temujin. Obviously, he's sided with the, the small evil one. All right. I run over. And I got three. All reckless. Yeah. Uh, that's a 24. Okay. That'll hit. <laughs> That is uh, 18. 
18 is my new AC. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> and that is not a hit. Okay. So damage him twice. Uh, I forgot. Uh, let's see. Four and six is ten. I think in most of our campaigns, we hurt each other more than we hurt other people. This mm-hmm. is brutal, though. Yeah, we've never Whatever gone into full player Della killing. Rindle Nine and punched all his friends to s- unconsciousness. Or, let's see. No, no, I didn't punch all them unconsciousness. And you punched him to unconsciousness. Thirteen. Yep. yep. True. Okay. Can I be <laughs> Meyer Linda? <laughs> Let's see. After Tamar be the is slot? Abdur. <laughs> Can I be the slot? Abdur sees that these guys have things well under hand, and he continues. He turns around and continues to walk towards the. Fuck, he's trying to steal it. Middle of the thing. <laughs> middle we of. We got the this, guys. Tower. <sighs> then it is me. I punch in the code. To open the door. Yep. Okay, that's this action. The door opens. Do you move through? Yep. Leaving your friends inside. I'm hoping that they follow me out. Because, oh, I might. Okay. Well, I don't know. Uh, Would we? No. Oh, you have, you're on a mission. Man. That's my thought, though. Got stuff you got to do. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll bonus action myself, sanctuary. Okay. Boom. And I'll step out. I'm figuring these will both try to take a. Yeah, they're gonna try to hit you on the way out, right? Yep. Because they both get a swing, or but, at least you get a swing. If they fail their wisdom save, then they have to hit each other. Oh, nice. So we're going to roll. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this shit's uh, worth looking at. 18. 18? Oh, uh, it's a save of 14, so no. I'll hit him. <laughs> you. <laughs> so, so you, you hit, hit me, him, you hit and him. then he hits you. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, Man, this is brutal. Oh, I'm sorry. I should probably roll to hit. <laughs> You're just doing damage. Just like, yeah. You. <laughs> you missed. Oh, I missed. But I get. Wait, did you roll with advantage? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, right. Reckless. Uh, that will that hit. hits. Okay. I want to hit you with reckless. <laughs> and seven and six. Thirteen. Another thirteen. Okay. And then I hit Tamat. Okay. Do your damage. Tamat, you'll get to make a wisdom saving throw. Take all five. Minimum damage. Let's take two. Let's take two. Oh, yeah, you're raging. That's so good. And you get to make a wisdom save? You guys should have hit this guy first. Mm-hmm. No? Wow. All right. We'll only save when it doesn't count. Okay. So I walk Jesus. out. I'm trying to get at least 10 feet out so that they have to come out to get right. to me. He hits you. He hits him. He just hits you. He is also turned. He's also turned. Don't hit me back, man. <laughs> throw, him, oh. throw him out the door over the ledge. <laughs> I'm so He should probably roll over there. Is it my uh, turn? Well, yeah, you go before he goes again. Yeah. After I yeah. go, it's yeah. Elio. Oh. Okay. Oh. And that's when you hit him. You can't no. follow him outside. So I turn back around, then. Okay. Right? Sure. Aren't I going towards the center? Yeah. Okay. So, so he you... hits you and runs? Yeah. I don't disengage. <laughs> well, he can't hit you again. He uses his reaction to hit him. Yeah. yeah. But he could follow you. And, and then after this. Ryan is... <laughs> it won't take much. No. Temujin. Make your roll. <laughs> and then <laughs> That was a bad look. Tamat. <laughs> you will all die! <laughs> yes, we will. <laughs> that's a hit. That's plus seven. So that's a 20. Wait. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I get three I get three hits. I know, but after each time that you hit him, he gets the save. Yeah, it's not it gonna change. change. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably true. <laughs> 19, uh, that's a nineteen. Okay. Plus my modifier. And that's a miss. Okay, so do some damage. So since he hit me twice, do I get two saves? Every time you take damage. Alright. I'll wait until you damage me. I might not even stay up. So nine and six. <laughs> Fifteen. It's Fifteen. So, <laughs> you're so close to dying. Skjug, make your save. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Skjug. Come on, snake eyes. <laughs> you're like, wait, no, the little man was right. <laughs> four, <laughs> four and six <laughs> is ten. Make your first save to see if you're still compelled. I'll save. Nice. So you're like, well, wait, maybe wait, 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 wait. 
15. Did you take 10 damage? <laughs> so you wake right, up and say, Temujin is right. And he's like, no. <laughs> I go down after 10. I go to dying. Yeah. 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 Just, isn't that you're dead? I'm not dead yet. I'm dying. dying. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. He's dying. So you can leave him. <sighs> you're going to follow Abner now. God. <laughs> Stuff you have to do. Abner. And I walk. Okay. Towards him. Yeah. Is Oops. it my turn? He sees you. <clears throat> yeah. I'm sure at some point your turn will come. Unless, do you have a turn before him? Um. Oh, yeah, he does. Let's see. It was just. Was it just Temujin? Yeah. And then it goes back to the top. So, Tamat. Yeah. Who beat the crap out Abdur, of Then Abdur. Yep. And then it is me. Okay. Uh, so, you're outside. As soon as the door closes, there's no sound. <laughs> you see the. Final swing in motion, and then ching. yeah, he just so, he looks at him like, <clears throat> and you're like, doo, 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 doo. so I open the door again. Okay, from the outside, <laughs> it opens up. What do I see? Him on the ground. Him on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he has a bloody hammer in his hand, <laughs> and, and he's falling after into the interior of the tower. Oh, <laughs> so. I don't have an action. No, you have a action. bonus action. I'll use my uh, pulse thing to get some temporary hit points. So I get seven temporary hit points. Okay. Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> that is all I can really do. Action if there was action. ever a time to roll a natural 20, this is it. <coughs> no, it's not a natural 20. Okay. So after me was Helio, then Temujin. Tell me if you die. Make your roll. I die. Do you really? What? <laughs> Is that that's three, three fails? failures in a row? So before you die, you find yourself <clears throat> sitting in the room. Well, things are not going well for you. I hope you know that I risk much to come here and, you know, have a talk with you now. You know, it's your final moments. Yeah, your dreamer brothers. He fucked over the whole group. Well, I think I would have been better off on my own than bringing them along. This is what Yule does. I was mentally prepared. I guess I assumed they were all as tough. No, obviously not. No. Nope, nope. Part of the reason that you're mentally prepared is because of the aftermarket modifications that I made to you. Yeah, yeah you, 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 you stiffened up the competition a little bit. Well. Gee, you ever been hit with a hammer? <laughs> it's super bad. I don't, I don't think so. No. no. Well, maybe the future experiment for you. I, maybe I'll pass on that one. Mm. <laughs> I encourage it. So, you have a choice. I have a feeling I don't. <laughs> well, you do. You have a choice. I can eat you now. And he's <laughs> like, the darkness behind him starts to rise. And he's like, and you can become a part of me. You know, whatever. I mean, it's your inevitable end at some point. Or I can push you back in the game, but I have significant loss. Uh, you could, do we have time that you could explain what, what that means? He looks at his wrist. He's like, I don't think so. Time is of the essence, and he motions to the corner of the room, and you see, like, it lights up, but it's like an illusion of you on the floor in the hallway, and like blood is like coming out of your eye socket. One of your eyes is like fucking out, mm -hmm. like shit's coming out of your ear. That's not even blood anymore. It's like gray matter. And he's like, "You don't have very. You don't want to die. You don't have very long. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Yeah. You don't want to die. Okay. Close your eyes and look away. And then he reaches into your chest. <laughs> 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 and you see like well it hurts worse with thought <laughs> fleshy tendrils uh, wrapping themselves around your rib cage and he pulls out more ribs 
then puts more stuff <laughs> in <into> place. <laughs> And he throws some of those ribs into the fire. <gasps> you, you said you weren't going to eat me out of my pick this option. <laughs> well, it's a piece at a time. It's better than whole meat. No. Uh, okay, so you're going to wake up. <laughs> but I had to take more of who you were. <laughs> and his transforming into the beasts that you enjoyed so much is over. But now you'll be closer to me. So Temujin. Wake up. Right. And then you're like, <gasps> you do like the weird little <laughs> <laughs> you like cough and barf. You're going to have to take my vacation, by the way. Okay, yeah, that one's out. Uh, yep. Aww. Uh, He's up. Hit him again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're like, I rage, I frenzy. <laughs> you like barf out some shit. Oh, speaking of which, you take a uh, point of exhaustion, don't you? Because you didn't hit anybody last turn. Yeah, until oh, I he rage hit again. me last turn. Oh, okay, that's right. <laughs> he hit him last turn. Yeah, it, was, it was painful. <laughs> okay, so, so you wake up, Elio is like <clears throat> lying in front of you, and he's beat to shit by a hammer, obviously. Oh, and I'm see, sitting there with the door him. open. That's I have right. the same yeah. gray matter spilling out of my head. <laughs> yeah. It's bad. It's bad. And you see these guys walking in. The door closes behind them, and they walk into the innermost sanctum of the tower. And now we're going to cut it. Wait, can I see if I die first? Sure. Go ahead. You want to roll your last one? <laughs> While he's doing it? Yeah, don't make him wait till next <laughs> week. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I do, I die. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fucking great. I didn't die yet. Okay. So what's happening then? Uh, well, I am basically just trying to keep the door open, but I realized after we entered this room that anyone who enters could have a chance of having issues. Yep. So I'm just trying to keep the door open. So as soon as it closes, I open it again for anyone that can come That's in. That's going to close the end of the round. Yep. So just I see him. It. Yeah. Well, oh! I'm keeping it open, so whenever it closes, I'll open Don't it Don't stand in it. Dude, he's going to die. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I can't do anything. So Keep unless you grab him. One what, if, what is he doing? I need to. Because it's me, then it's. Oh, it's me. What if. So do I feel multiple you, ribs that are now him. replaced? The whole Your whole left side is on fire. It feels like someone's put a burning torch in your side. Your guts feel like they're boiling in there. What am I capable of grabbing hold of one of them and ripping it out of my body? Just tell me if you're going to try to heal you or have, not. Well, that's the thing. Oh, my God, no. Do you want to talk to Oz? <laughs> if my Are you going to thing... put a rib into me, Adam and Eve style? <laughs> yes. What I hell? want to stab him with one of my ribs to, <laughs> to give you a chance at life because that's the only thing that brought me back from the brink. <laughs> <laughs> you this doesn't make sense. What? You, you might just kill that? me. <laughs> it's what brought me back. <laughs> you're like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> I put it right into your chest. <laughs> okay. So the thing that you pull is, free is not a rib. I know. It's like a writhing, weird, tentacle worm creature. And when you stab it into him, it burrows into the hole in his chest. And you wake up. And now we're going to end. We're ending right now. <laughs> I saved you. You get a point in Warlock, I guess. A point? That's not how well, it works. level? No, no. No? no. See, you have to have just, a talk about this. Just, <laughs> I don't know what it did, but it saved your life. <laughs> and I really wish Artificer could take a healing word, because all I can learn is cure wounds, which means I have to go in there and go, boop. I mean, you could have. I mean, I could have, but I don't think I'd make but a save. Didn't. I did what I had to do to save you. I would end up walking. I wasn't sure what would I might have lived. <clears throat> or not. <laughs> or not. I'm, Why are you hiding it from me? I don't know. I have a stupid was one. question. <laughs> when he raged, are you the kind of barbarian that clears all the charm effects when you rage? Uh, he, because of um, my potion from Mother Nathy, we all gained something, and that's one thing. Like, Well, you don't any, have exhaustion. He wants to know if when you rage, you oh, ignore yeah. the effects of yep. charm and yep. sleep spells. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, Not I think you're yeah. The answer is later. Okay. Eventually. I was hoping that that actually would have caused it because it's been the only way you can save you. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. So, clusterfuck. 
Our heroes hang on the edge of a precipice marked by some sort of ungodly abyss with creatures in it. Will they be able to pull this off and not succumb to madness and sacrifice the whole plane? Who knows? Stay tuned next week. We'll find out. <laughs> the shit's going to be good next week. <laughs> we'll find out. Maybe. I wake up, I stab or... you. <laughs> That's right. I'm there can be. only be one. <laughs> Do we level up? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we just level? <laughs> just wanted to know. <laughs> uh, It'll change my invocation. Oh my yeah, you need to change your invocation. <sighs> All right, let's do roses and thorns quick and then bust a move. Well, why don't you go? You're ready to bust a move. Um, hey, you okay. grab his fire sword on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> I can't um, use it. This was an emotionally charged session. Right? Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. a very emotionally charged session, right? So, like, I think my rose is, like, um, that it's hopefully coming to an end. Like, we, like, I don't know. Like, mm. not like an end and end, but, like, like, could. like, I don't know why it's so fun beating on you guys. But it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's sure fun. Beat right? the shit out of your friends. Yes! Like, you haven't experienced no this right now. You know why? Because <laughs> last <laughs> campaign, he no hit you lies. like 10 times. Yeah. No, yeah, that's it was right. So, good. so like, maybe that's why it feels so good. It's you get like, the give ah, back. Finally. <laughs> like, you know, trying to get trying to get information out of Temujin and like get in the no wasn't happening so it kind of felt good to bash Brian's face (laughs) (laughs) and there it is but it still made it still makes for a good story so it's good um so Thorn uh, I don't know I wish we could have just passed the time so we can get those Manta but that's that's on us you know I mean that wouldn't have helped our situation now no it wouldn't have but we didn't know that could have wasted a whole day, and I could have been strange, one more day. Waste is a strange word because that's not what he thinks about it. One day closer to Eric's. Yeah, mm-hmm. that would have been three days. Well, you still are three days. Just you're on the other side now. I'm on four still. We just got to oh, see. Oh, sorry, you, we uh, didn't even pass the day. No, it's still the, the same day. day? Oh yeah. my yeah. god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, mm-hmm. we didn't rest at all. Like this is it. Well, I mean, we did rest. Brian pushed us pushed us to go. And that's what we did. <laughs> You're going to die. <laughs> no, he's not. That's the worst part. Oh god. It depends no. what happens, I, I guess. Saved him. <laughs> we'll have to have a talk I about it. Saved him. Yeah. How many levels of warlock do you want? Uh, is zero an option? <laughs> <laughs> You've been just trying to push me into playing a warlock since the beginning. I mean, now we're there. <laughs> this is it. Man. It's the one class I know nothing about. Well, get ready to learn quick. <laughs> continue to know nothing about. Do they use charisma? Mm-hmm. Well, that's kind of a good thing. Mm-hmm. What's your charisma? 16. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're but my Better dex is so than I ever good. Was. My dex is eighteen. Uh, Oz can just switch those too. He, yeah, he can fiddle. <laughs> can he uh, do a hexblade warlock? Sure. I don't. Oz isn't particular. Well, I, I mean, don't think they're cheese unless you dip into them. He he's really. You probably have to be a tome warlock. Yeah. Should, do I have to take the tome as my? You don't have to, but I would. Are we just all going to be warlocks? Can we make a robot uh, I mean, warlock? We, Is that a thing? We keep dabbling. Can you stab Barbarian. him with your rib too? Barbarian <laughs> warlock? Is that a thing? <coughs> Barblock. Barblock. I mean, no. That's it. you would be the first. <laughs> I'll yeah, beat I you with be my hammer. Good, I wouldn't and, be a very good warlock, would I? No. You don't have to be a good one. You no, just have you to be a, just convert all the you way. Just have to do it. <laughs> yeah. Just convert all just the way. Makes you one. <laughs> all right, I'll go. Rose. <laughs> just say it. You know it. He knows do it. it. <laughs> do it. Do Although it. it feels good, really good to hit Temujin. Really good. It felt better to hit Brian. He <laughs> 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 put up there. That was so great. <laughs> <laughs> it felt better to hit Brian. <laughs> 
Oh shit. That, that felt pretty good. I I don't know. I'm gonna say that's my rose and thorn. And the reason is any mind altering effects that make choices for your character is probably my thorn of almost any game. I love it. <laughs> well you love it. Yeah. Because it's not your character. Uh, I don't think you've ever fucked my character in that way. Did you? How did you die? Oh yeah, you did. You totally might fuck my character that way. That <laughs> yeah, you had to be. You had yeah. to like Magnus. And I had to like that. Magnus. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. That's probably my Thor in most games. Mm. I mean, inside I felt really good, but <laughs> Elio inside I felt my really character good. probably feels a bit bad if he remembers this. I mean, yeah, he remembers it. And all of it. Actually, Tevich has been kind of an ass today. So maybe he felt part of it. Just a little bit. <laughs> just a little, little bit. Well, yeah, you well you've been having trouble forever. like getting into the group, though. Like, So then I get stabbed with his rib tentacle, and that makes me one of us? You're with us his because we're going... Yeah. You're with us, and you think the sole thing is just to go to the swamp to get knowledge for you, yeah, right? Yeah, was the sole thing. He's got, he's got an alternate motive. Yeah, but we have no idea. Now you're This is going to be my real thorn. <laughs> my real thorn is we have no fucking clue about the whole anything. Well, the cosmology isn't really... But we don't know about here. any of it. Yeah. Why the visions are happening. Who's really involved. I mean, but you know a lot of it and you haven't really told anyone. Hmm. So it makes it hard to involve ourselves into the All actual story. Every character you've ever had is really keen on keeping secrets. Yeah, I'm you're looking a, forward to the secrets campaign. You're a secret keeper. <laughs> <laughs> so it makes it hard for me to involve my character into the timeline, into the storyline. But don't worry, all that's going to change. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I, know. Not, <laughs> I shared the most the intimate end. secret I have. <laughs> right. And so you, share it with and you everyone. The fin about it. <laughs> What's that one movie where the the high school is infected and they keep bringing everyone else in? Oh, it's really know. cheesy. Uh, faculty. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's get these guys. Yeah. <laughs> Hold them down. Ow. Hold them down. <laughs> Rib them. I don't want to be a warlock. <laughs> you wouldn't be. Exactly. Okay. You'd just be a warlock. So that's me. Well, you could choose. It was fun. Yeah, I maybe. like beating up people. I was kind of hoping to beat up, you know, a god instead. You're getting there. I thought we might get further than the entrance of the door. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, I bite him. I was like, oh, you got the safe. It was like, yeah, oh, that, that's fucking. Good. This is all that's going down. It's <laughs> over, man. You're like, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm like, let's stop now. Let's, Fuck. Let's, let's figure it out. Come on. No, we can, we can fix this. Uh, oh. <laughs> Go ahead, Alex. Uh. So I'd say my thorn is probably rolling saves. Every, every time it's a do or die save, I always save feel... Suck. Yeah. Save or suck. I'm like, I don't want to suck. I don't want to suck. I like my character. <laughs> don't make me roll. Uh, but yeah, I think that's the thing. I hate save or suck. Right now we have uh, a very angry Abder following Tamad into the thing. and Abder's not mad. Very angry to my following yeah, Abdur yeah. into the thing. Yeah, it's Mott's yeah. bad. Yeah. Well, I, I kind of burned him trying to get him. I've, I mean, he was going to come kick your ass, but then he saw these guys doing it, and he was just like, I have to do it. Pretty well. Hmm? We did it pretty well. We did it pretty well. I didn't even get a chance to go invisible and flee. No. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Like, <laughs> uh, I'll say my rose is probably if that sanctuary and running would have worked the way I wanted it to. If they would have fallen And outside. those two would have hit each other and been like, oh, let's get out now. That would have been awesome. That would have been awesome. <laughs> the best part was, he, they're, they were hitting each other, but he hit him and he was like, oh, wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> 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 I mean, you did 24 to me in one shot. Oh. And then he did his thing because Which, of Barbarian. It probably <laughs> actually <laughs> saved your life. The fact that that sanctuary all right. made saved made... and life are all kind <laughs> of all weird relative words terms. right now. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm going to have to go read about Warlock and see what the hell is going on. Yeah. So, yeah. Brian. Let's hear it, Brian. I'm just Rose today. Yeah. <laughs> 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 just roast me. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs>
He doesn't have to say anything. <laughs> it was good. He's like, I'm just going to leave it at that. It, Drop the mic. It, it was good. <laughs> God saw that it was good. <laughs> I don't think he was watching today. <laughs> he unsubscribed from our channel. <laughs> yeah, he probably wasn't the only one. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that was a wild game. Watching you guys beat everything stuffing out of each other was kind of fun. <laughs> it but, makes your job easy. I mean, I was just like, holy shit, it's going down. All right, <laughs> fucking I know how on. it feels to be in that chair and just watch your party destroy itself. It's like, blur. Uh, I'm like... Yeah, You're thinking, effects. is this it? Is this the end right now? <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's over. I was like, we're done now. I figured with now. the sword being on his back that he would uh, take more damage. I should have done a scorching ray on him instead. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> scorching ray would have been great. You can hit different targets, can't you? Yeah. yeah. You hit, you could hit all three guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could have tried to knock one everybody. of us out. <laughs> all right. Or Josh, what is your Rosen Thorns? Yeah, Josh. Yeah. I mean, on, Josh. I thought the game was over. Is that the Rose of the Thor? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. My next campaign's not ready, so don't give up yet. Oh, G's got a filler in case it comes down to it. He said it's going to be a short filler. <sighs> well, it is a short filler. You just you, time how long do you have? <laughs> I have surgery end of January. End of January? Yep, because that's their first opening. So mm -hmm. you'd have to carry us for like two months. How short? <laughs> I mean, that's like <laughs> six sessions. Yeah, six, yeah. eight sessions. We still got a few more left. In I this think one. this one's got at least one more. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, I mean it does too. We'll be here next week, right? It felt like today was the day. Yeah. When it, you guys started beating the shit each other, I was the, like, oh. When the shit fell apart, it, the only it was going to cascade out. The only I'm really in trouble is Tamat because he doesn't know the code to get out. And right, he's going down there with Abdu. Well, yeah, he's yeah. Getting out is not his problem. We what happens down there is going to be his yeah. problem. <laughs> he beat the piss out of us, so we are unable to actively go save him. Yeah, even if we tried to go save him, if he looks at us wrong, we're back on the ground. Yeah. I mean, the other issue is the fact that even if we try to go in there to try to get him, we could just follow him in. If we could get him to frenzy a few more times, he'll just kill himself. So that, well, I'm only at one level. Be a lot more times. And I only have two more rages. Yeah, he would be mm -hmm. fucking tired and he would be doing things badly. But, but if he frenzies anymore, it's. frenzies over. one more time, everybody <laughs> else is dead. <laughs> How much health do you have? And then it's time to go back to the mountains to, <laughs> to find my new adventuring party. <laughs> Abner to plant people. <laughs> Someone could be the little girl. <laughs> You're not getting out of this yeah. tower unless you. We do it for yeah, you. We You're, have to You're not leaving. You. Maybe we. Okay. You. We both just hit zero and bounced off. You are in the most trouble. <laughs> How much health do you get? A lot. Yeah. Have they actually Too made much. it down there yet? No. They're they're mm. slowly walking. They're not in a hurry. They just made it past the next door. Maybe I'll wake up and learn how to Eldritch Blast this fuck. I mean, you can if you want to. I don't know. I think that you might have to be a great old one's warlock, but you can pick the flavor of lock that you are. Although Oz would prefer that you're a tome lock because oh, that's what him. he does. Okay. All right. If we live. 